Yo, what's up, Kaido? Go our first. It's Overlord collab time. Let's go. We got 50 minutes. Give me them leaves. So I have like no artifact charms. Let's buy these. And then we buy this. Good enough. I guess I should have bought a catalyst. Oh well. On to the next one. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. Uh. How do I get back there? It's already online. Only for me. You guys don't get it until tomorrow. You guys, you guys have to wait. Sucks to suck. You know what I mean? Start a different side story. Who shares Catalyst with Albedo? Uh oh. Hold on. Emergency. I will be back. back don't worry i'm here now thank goodness i thought i was gonna have a heart attack who shares catalyst with albedo does anyone know who shares catalyst with lines i don't think it really matters what's down in here no thank you what's in here What's in here? I don't want to do any of these. All these side stories suck. Wait, I can do Genua side stories? Sign me up. All right. How many bookmarks already? Pity. I have enough for pity. I don't know if I'll go above pity. We will see. Yo, what's up, my foul? Welcome out. We're about to go bankrupt to this collab. I don't know about that, Chief. I'm already bankrupt. But, yo, what's up, Dylan? Hey, George, you installed this just for the collab. Well... We'll see how good the collab is. It's already live for me only. Nobody else has it live. I'm just kidding. No, it's live in 50 minutes. 50 minutes. 49 minutes, actually. Just a YouTube stream? Yeah, I'm just doing YouTube stream. No Twitch stream. Too much competition on Twitch, so why not just be the only one streaming on YouTube, you know? Genius. What do you think? Smart Mr. Streamer, yep. Yeah. Literally every Twitch streamer is going to be live and nobody streams on YouTube, so why not be the YouTube guy? Now we're using our brains. I'm actually gonna farm this because I have Janu on Grace of Growth right now. So I've been following your new player guide, but how how do I go about getting my first six star? I luckily got Taman first ten X. What do you mean how to get your first six star? You promote him. I mean I show you in the guide. If you're too Tama, you're like day two of the guide. Day three, maybe? Depends on if you early pull Tama. You're early in the guide. So, you farm. You farm. Uh, unrecorded history. Usually stage five at first. 
Hey, man, you got to help me out a lot. Well, glad to hear. Hey, Alarmed, here is your stream, Alarmed. You've been asking? Here it is. You happy? Congrats on getting... I think you got Challenger the other day. Congrats on Challenger. Anyone else raging RTA? Hey, you want to see something sick? Hold on. You want to see something sick about RTA? Think you're the only one raging? Hold on. You want to see... You want to see absolute banger RTA? You ready for this? This light exactly rank 1000 with a 47.2% win rate? That's me? I've been memeing a little too hard. But I'm exactly rank 1000. Easy Emperor. Who do you think the best collab character will be? Shelter. We perfectly lined it up to be rank 1000 for the stream. And once I click out of this and back in, we will no longer be Emperor. Watch this. Oh, I went up a rank. Dude, we're going up without even playing. Sheesh. How do we get Eins? By existing. As long as you exist, you will have Eins in 50 minutes. Yeah, day two-ish. I got to like 22 and unrecorded, but I'll go rewatch. See if I simply missed something. I got like zero sigma for the essence. You, I mean, you just had to farm. At early game, you were just running unrecorded history 24-7. Your goal is to unlock pets, and once you unlock pets, you just run unrecorded history. Always. Albedo's skill seems underwhelming to you. Her artifact seems a noise, though. Albedo's skills, I mean, she'll have a place for sure, but her artifact sounds so fun. I'm excited for artifact. I mean, you guys, if you if you hang out in the stream, you, you'll see. I mean, you, you'll get Ainz right away, and you have to get imprints and everything for Ainz. What's a Kata for Shaltier? I don't know. I That's what I was asking earlier. I don't know what the Katas for any of them are. I think I have enough AP to get whatever I want, but we'll see. I might have to buy a pack. I think I have the Kata, or, uh, runes ready, too. I hopefully do. Does collab get all servers same time? Yep, Epic 7 is a same time thing, and there's no maintenance tonight. Unless I could see emergency maintenance happening. Did you kick off your new player guide? Your new new player guide? Nope, that'll be probably today. I'm probably going to stream long time today. So we'll, we'll test out the new characters, and I'm going to start a new account. When collab start? 40 minutes. Three hundred sky stones plus eight k gems. What do you mean eight k gems? Eight k stigma? Where'd all your sky stones go? You did not. F oh wait, never mind. Sorry, I'm I'm mixing you up with somebody else. You mean three hundred bookmarks, eight k sky stones? That's enough for pity. It's twelve thousand sky stones to guarantee a character. The problem is you might not get the artifact. And that is where Epic 7 summoning sucks. I'm really hoping I pull... I want three artifacts. I want to pull three individual artifacts. So, well, pull two artifacts and buy one artifact. That's my hope. Have you guys ever used Icy Hot? I had a banger golf round today, by the way. I played, I played a couple holes so good. Those of you that don't know, I'm an avid golfer, and oh my gosh, today was so fun. I didn't play super, super good. I had some some big mistakes that were hard to fix, but when my holes went good, they went good. I was I was attacking pins with my irons. It was so good. Is RTA unhealthy at the moment? RTA is always unhealthy. RTA, I mean, RTA for new players is always fine. You just have to take advantage of what's meta at the time. So Epic 7 has like kind of a power creep uh, thing going on, which makes it to where barrier to entry to RTA is always accessible to new players because characters like Genua, Laia, uh, all usually the newest character that comes out tends to power creep the old characters to an extent. And then you're able to get a core roster that's guaranteed good. Sound happy? It must have been good. I've just been happy lately. Ooh, I think I might have a date tomorrow too. New girl. We will see. I have found in my dating life 
that going down in age tends to do better. Because going up in age kind of hasn't been the greatest the last couple I've tried. Building a harem? I don't know about that, Chief. Do we have free pulls for a new event? We should have 10 free summons when the event starts. We should have 10 free summons every day for like two weeks, three weeks. I think three weeks of free summons. Not sure though. As a new player, is the best to burn least for gear on week one or week two of the event? I don't remember which is which. I think week two is a better week. Pretty sure week two is a better week. But Moonstar, let's go. Where are we going? Where to get plus 30 collab artifacts? It's never really worth it to chase artifacts on summons. Okay, so here's the thing. Are you guys new players or old players? If you're old players, the more artifacts you get, the better. Because you're going to be farming gear. And the, this gear farming is amazing. And even new players getting multiple copies is great. You on Twitch or YouTube? Only to say small span. I've been only streaming on Twitch. But anytime there's a big event happening in Epic 7, literally every Twitch streamer is live. So we're going to stream on YouTube and be the only person streaming on YouTube. So those of you guys that hate Twitch have somewhere to go. That is the strat for today. Because I don't feel like streaming on Twitch and battling everybody else at the same time. I, I want to start doing YouTube streams again consistently, but dude, I'm telling you, streaming on Twitch versus YouTube, Twitch is hands down infinitely better. So I'm sorry, all of you that only watch on YouTube and don't like Twitch, but Twitch is just so much better in every way. And it sucks, I know, but... Old new player, but super casual, so it doesn't really count. But a hey, Alarm, thanks for gifting a member. Uh, I guess I guess members count as subs. So let me up that to three. But also, you can't beg for Twitch Prime subs on YouTube. I guess I can. I can link you guys my Twitch and pray that one of you has a Twitch Prime sub. But I don't know. There's a lot of things with YouTube. One of the biggest things is the music. Oh, I guess we can do Guild Wars. I don't think I did those yet. But Ryu, what's you up to? Damn, no Twitch today? No, nope. I streamed on Twitch earlier. All right, what are we looking at here? This guy has no damage. Sick. So what do we want to do? Slam Janua. Slam Hua Young. This is going to be the fastest Guild War I've ever done. Janua, Hua Young, what do we want for third? Hand guy? No. How do we deal with Lulukar? There's a chance I die here, but it's worth it. I don't want to overthink this. Fastest character I could do, Celius. No, because I'm getting dual attacked. He gets immunity. AOL. If this if this loses, it is your fault. Bottom team. What do we want? You planning new releasing new player guide? Yeah, I'm starting it today. Uh, so we're gonna play around with the new characters. I'm gonna start a new account. I, I already have the account like ready, but we're gonna start a new account right after. So Karina, I hate fighting Karinas. And there's an Edward, so I can't do debuffs. What do we want to do? Hey, you fiend. Trying to think something stupid. A U Fiend made Chloe. Made Chloe sounds fun. What are you doing to Edward? A Pak Ravi? How do I lose with two revives? Good question. We go. Bunch of 2024 guide is not finished. Yeah, we're just redoing it. When I was doing the 2024 guide, I realized it's the exact same as 2023 guide. So. Alright, we take a 50 50. Sure. Do you think we can one-shot the Lulu car? The answer is no, we cannot. Music? Wait, do you guys not hear music? 
There's no way you don't hear music. I have music playing. Is it too quiet? Oh, we might die. No music for YouTube? I have to listen to whatever dumb music. It's too quiet. It's it's Nikki playlist. That's what I always listen to because it's the only thing I know that's not going to get copyrighted. Non-copyright sounds? I always get copyright striked when I try to do non-copyright sounds. I turned it up. Well, it's at a quiet part of the song, so... He's kind of tanky. That injury rebellion, it is. Nice. Alright. Kill rebellion. It's, a, it's just a, I know where you live. I know where I live too. Crazy, right? How much of a change in the new guide going to be? Uh, key points are just taking different characters and different things. So I'm going to give more options. Basically, I'm going to just give options. That's the only difference. Do I want to use Maid Chloe right away? Sure. Wonder Sex God is being in YouTube chat too. I hid, I hid his account from the, the channel. You know what? Counter me. Defense break me. Unlucky. Hey guys, still worth over CLS slash DDR for ML2. Perfect time to edge profusely. Strange. Oh wait, we might be in trouble. Wait, did he? Sh oh, he stripped it. Ah, uh, he didn't go for Apoc Gravi. Unlucky. Link playlist. Why is YouTube chat wider than Twitch? Wider? What do you mean? Well, let's see how it goes. Well, weirder? I don't know. Picking up the game today, it's a newbie guide up to date. Any changes I have to do? Uh I don't know. Give me one second. Heard it was cursed. Is it worth using Niner Sky Stones for ultis? I mean, you can. It's just better to do. Uh... Shop refreshes. Nice. Are the characters out yet? No, they'll be out in 30 minutes. What do I want to do for this? Biblis. I 
I want to do an Archdemon one. Did you see the Drake leaks? What do you mean? Wasn't that like months ago? Wasn't that months ago? What do I want for last pick? Can't do I also want to try Lia, but I don't think my Lia is good. Of course he has, yeah. Who hasn't seen the Drake Drake League Star knows? Thanks for your hard work on a guy, no problem, gamer. What do I want? Probably just A Fiend top. But I kind of want Mitt. This is so risky. I guess I just Lia. It's the safest. I want to do something fun, but I was Lia, whatever. All right, bottom team. What do I want? I don't know if the A Mara is gonna be able to do all that we're hoping that she can do. Uh, bottom team. What's something funny? How do you get your equipment and how do you get equipment reset materials? Are hard to get. Moon bunny? Nah. What do I want to do? Do you like big girls? I maybe I don't know. Star, why you gotta be weird, homie? You wake up and choose weird. All good. Something fun. What's something fun? What's something fun? What's something fun? ML Poly best seat in the game. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess I'll Janua with her. That's a pretty good combination. What about a Tywin with her? Sure. Fun. Sick. Hey, wait for a collab. collab. It's gonna be fun. Why did my Elia outspeed the C Lilius? That is the ultimate question here. I really don't want to click S3. What do we seal this turn one? Or not. That's fine. That's cool. How much crit do you have on Raz? Grim Beans, you know I don't even have Raz geared. Normal Poly just good for solar players. Not really, no. I might die here. Looking like a dead angle. If this landy does anything. Because Archdemon gets stunned. I have cleanse. Ooh, wait. Archdemon, Archdemon going? Except I kind of wanted Lia to go first, to be completely honest. But I guess it is what it is. Oh, no. This landy's going to cook me. Stop! <laughs> oh no, I'm not I'm not surviving this. Counter. The attack down is brutal. Fake C Lilius? I mean I can I can speed roll all the way up to almost 300 on Laya, so. Guess we burn this just so we don't get us threed. Bro, I need help. I broke up my girlfriend for another girl, but she lives on another state and she doesn't love me back. Um. What am I? What do I do? Star, what do I do, homie?
Well, my arch demon isn't going to survive now. That's for sure. Wait, my arch demon's going sicko mode. <laughs> okay. Okay, go sicko mode. <laughs> this is insane. But yeah, no, I'm up high. This isn't, isn't great for new players, sadly. I guess there's no reason the soul burning is already sealed. Nice, we didn't lose it. Yeah, Arts, Arts Demon, Arts Demon would be fun. Help MLK Ken or MLU Fiend, MLU Fiend's better. Live on Twitch as well? No, only doing YouTube today. No defense break on the belly and that kind of sucks. What's your top speed right now? 300? Two? Fast as units, 302? I mean, it's 315 on RAN. What's that show you doing, Jalka? Full HP? Yeah. Give him defense buff. I think it dies here, right? Oh, he has one HP. I want to see how much HP. Oh, it has it. Oh, it healed. I didn't see how much it healed. That sucks. Go into this. I'm gonna keep some for her even if I don't pity her. I mean, yeah, the thing is, ML5s, you should, our uh, Mystic Banners, just keep summoning. Really, no reason not to just keep summoning. Is this on counter? Song sounds familiar. It's from Nikki. I'm just listening to Nikki playlist. There's two. How much time? We still have 20 minutes. 20 more minutes. What if... Oh, I don't have ran geared. Uh-oh. That's why I kept ran geared. Oh. Uzio. My Ludwig. Marijuana for fun. Imagine it's counter RB. Wouldn't that be sick? Wait, where is there she? Is I'm lagging because background battle's going crazy. Thoughts on Albedo? All the collab characters seem kind of average, to be honest. But we'll see. Oh, what do I want to do for Aiden? Aiden ML Landy. Shall Tears seem strongest? Yeah, Shall Tears seem strongest for sure. I mean, I guess Bihu. Give him unbuffable. The thing is, do I survive all this? Is the question. I don't, really, don't want to Karina because that's too easy. Time to ungear Zahak. My Zahak is geared. I'm not using Zahak gear on Shall Tear. Shall Tear. Needs a 100 good chance. Um, bad thing is my Blitik is faster than uh, Bihu. Doing enough damage would be kind of hard. What if I landy him back? Imagine. Were you background battling? Yeah, I'm background battling right now. That's why it's laggy. I mean, I guess I soul burn this. Just to push Zio up a little bit. Am I Zio even geared? Why does it seem like he's not geared? Okay, the question is how safe do we play it? You think this kills? It does. 
It does. Nice. We have a bunch of souls though, so I want to goof around. Oh, my repeat battle has ended. Yay. Do you think Albedo will get an emergency buff? Doubtful. We'll see though. One of the next units that comes out will have a, oh, a passive with text negate CR pushback. I mean, we already kind of have. We have a couple that stop CR pushback, but. I mean, we just click. Just click and hope for the best. Yeah, well, it's not just Ram, it's also, um, what's the character's name? Wait, I'm dead. Something's not looking so good here, if I'm being honest. No salvo. Yo, don't crit me. You're blind. Why are you critting me? I mean, I'm scared to hit Landy. I'm going to die. I'm going to lose to Landy. Can I salvo one one time? One salvo? Please? Counter. I haven't salvoed once. I mean, I'm going to die. I am legit going to die. Because my landy didn't solve it at all, I die. Landy has three, but I won't kill his landy through air wall. I die because I didn't solve it once. Yep. Oh, he missed an attack. Oh, but then he solved But he missed again. Does he kill here? Where's my counters? Where's his counters? Why is he not countering? I need him to counter. He missed. I didn't counter. He salvoed again. All right, I got to land the silence here. Oh my goodness. His landy was better, better than mine. That's all this boils down to. His landy was just built different. Tabs are your landy crazy. I can't land a defense break to save my life. There's a salvo. Yay. Do I have S3? I don't. Can we hit? Ooh. That was the worst thing that could have happened. All right. Well, 50 50 time. 50 50 time. It's working. You win, maybe. All right. Let's see. Does he hit? If he hits, I'll kill my landy because he's zero speed landy. He missed. Thank the heavens. I haven't crit it one time, have I? Alright, we're fine. <laughs> Did we crit it this time? Or no, it doesn't matter. We crit finally. The attack that didn't matter on the crit, we crit. Look. Alright, we have 15 minutes. Let me go check. The background battling has finished. Yeah. We'll get our stuff. Can you show your candy? Yeah, I can. We'll go through my characters. Find beginner's guide. If I already have the scene, sorry, who do I choose on selective summon? Uh, it doesn't really matter. All of them are pretty bad. Listen, Blue Archive background music? No, we're. This is Nikki playlist. What was I doing? Side story. No. Mel Polly worth the hype. She's pretty good. She's heavily countered, like you can counter her pretty easy, but she's still really good. I mean, can you counter her really easy? I'm pre-banning her already. I tried to play a couple days with her. A nicer pre-banning her. They introducing another opener to the game just like made the game feel lopsided trying to play. So. Okay. 
So how many leaves? How do you counter ML Politos? Well, you really don't to be fair. She has a lot of units that on paper counter her, but don't. I have 86 leaves going into the event. I did not buy Burning Passion Packs. All right, so who do you want to see? Show my candy. Any characters you guys want to see, let me know. We can just sort through some characters until the collab starts. 15 minutes. Can I say Shuna? Yeah. We did get one really good Shuna win today. The only time I picked her, we won. Any reason you're not running base speed with higher attack? Because I don't like base speed, Landy. I don't. You're when you play base speed, Landy, your entire match is just RNG dependent. So I don't play base speed, Landy, for that reason. Any character that you go zero speed on on counter set, you're just super relying on you're just RNGing your opponent. I'd rather have consistency. Think about getting Manscaped. Does anyone have it? And if so, is it worth the hype? I've heard good things about it. Never been sponsored by them though. Also, you know, E7 works the second the clap is finished. So really something that wasn't, but can get because everyone burnt. So yeah, most likely the next the next character would probably be pretty good. Let's see Genua. Here's my Genua. Yo, what's up, Abdul? Which Sharoon? Green Sharoon or ML Sharoon? Regular Sharoon looks like this. Also, Landy S1 gives CR, so speed is better. I, I like Landy lapping so you can get back to your S3. Because having, like, my Landy has 70 speed over other Landys, so the, the amount of turns my Landy's gonna get. No maintenance today? Nope, no maintenance. Straight into summons. And then if you're talking about ML Sharon, that is my ML Sharon. Hmm. Lady has 171 speed and almost the same status as yours? Yeah. Mine's actually pretty good. Low ER, I don't build ER on Sharon because if you build ER on Sharon, then you can't get debuffed and you want her to get debuffed so you draft her into characters that are going to give her a debuff to proc cascade if you have a effect resist and they target her then you're not going to get cascade you're just going to resist it so you're hurting yourself oh green sharon i don't really like building effect res on her she just has effect res because that's just how the gear ended up as both so but I don't even want the effect res I'd rather have the effect res into bulk like I would take all 56% of this and put it into HP defense probably HP mostly but you want to see ML Ken I have a super bulky ML Ken I think other people are starting to migrate to a super bulky ML Ken build but I switched his artifact, so I gave her the max artifact, so he usually has 19k HP, but gave him the lower Sigurd Scythe. Alright, what other characters do you guys want to see? So on when I've been I've been streaming on Twitch every day. And I've been trying to test certain things. I, I tried to test a super effect res on Okay Ron. Are you gay? Star, what? What's your deal? I don't. I don't understand. Why why is it so hard to do any kind of thing without having just the one guy? Every stream gets one guide. Mm. 
no face cam. I'll probably turn it on. How hard is it to not? I don't. I don't understand. It. How hard is it not to just go online and not be weird? Like, what is wrong with your regular life? You have golfing today? Yeah, I play golf today. So many people. The second they touch the internet, they just they just become an animal. What? Why does the internet do this to people? How'd you score? I shot. It was like an 89. It wasn't great. It was super windy. Honestly, I'm not even, I'm not upset with my score at all for it being that windy. Can I see I'm all Ludwig? Yes, you can. Hopefully he's geared, actually. I don't know if he's geared. He's geared. Slow. He's too slow. I don't usually, I don't cleave, so. You want way faster. His damage is light, but he needs to be faster. I think Fallen Susu will make a comeback. She's already playable. You just have to pick her later in the draft. The thing is, most people don't have DJ Basar geared, so. You shouldn't learn me yet, yeah. Would be a good user of the free rage set from new Archie Quest. I don't even know what that is yet. I see ML to Beer, yeah. I haven't even seen that yet. The speed LC I wish I had. He's I I'm on defense boots, so it's not the greatest, but she works. I don't I almost never play Lionheart Sermia anymore. She's too I don't know, she's a fifth pick character. Because if you pick her too early, she has way too many counters. She just gets stripped and everything possible happens to her. I need to see the rage set from New Archie Quest because I don't even know what it is. I didn't even know we got one. But ML Tenebria. My Tenebria. Going through the guide series right now, instead of all my bookmarks and mystic summons, do you ever go through when to drop resources on a hero? It's just basically you watch for... The best thing I can suggest is if you're going to be in the E7 community, watch for content creators and watch them wait until they talk about a character being really good and then you pull those characters. And you wait. You don't do it day one because most people are always wrong on day one on characters. There's some exceptions. But most people are very wrong on day one on characters, so anytime a new character drops, I'll wait like three days, four days, see the YouTube videos other creators are making, and then make a decision. Nice Dene, like on Destro Pen. I used to do Destro Pen, but I just moved the Destro gear. I don't even remember. I think I stole a couple of pieces for my Wyvern one shot. No, I don't, I don't know where I, I, I stole her Destro gear for somebody. It wasn't Pavel. I don't know where it is. What does Celine look like? I stole it for somebody, but I don't remember who. It's not Celine. I don't know. <laughs> I have a I have a crazy destruction set sitting somewhere, doing nothing. Put it on Sharklet. Why is it on Sharklet? Why is it on Sharklet? I'm way over crit cap chance, oh, it's because of the ring. I need something without, I guess, this. Either this or this, but if I do... Wait, how do I go from 20,000 over crit cap? Oh, no, never mind. Why was it saying I was... T oh, I was 32 over on crit damage. There's pen set. I don't think I have a pen set piece for it. Because every... Why does she have so much crit chance? 30 over on crit chance. Look, everything I have has so much crit chance. It's even 16 on this. This is like my lowest crit chance piece. That has 19. Must have been struggling at some point for crit chance. I 
I don't even need crit damage. I don't need anything. Still 24 over cap there. 9 and 14. This is the closest to not being over cap. But this isn't even that good. I don't even have 4k attack. I'm... No, it's because I'm still faster. It's not even... It's not even that much better. I mean, it is better than what I have. I don't know. I need to look at... I don't know what's wrong with my... Does she just have extra chance over Stenny? Because on Stenny, I think it was even. I don't think I was over cap at all. But yeah, I have a destruction set sitting somewhere. I don't know what to do with... Who to put it on? Is Fire Robbie good for a new player? It's not bad. I see Arrow well, yeah. Um, Mnel, you're at day two of my 2023 guide series. So if you go to day th day two of the 2023 guide series, and it walks you through every step. How do you counter ML Polytus plus Genius plus ML Tywin? Do you use Selene plus Fire Polytus? Um, that drafts really hard. I, I started banning ML Polytus, I'll be honest. I started, every game just felt unwinnable. 120 effect resist too low? No, 120. I mean, it's not, your HP is probably higher, so your speed might be lower. Honestly, if I were to change her, I would lower the speed, raise the HP. I don't think I don't think I need this much effect resist. Having some effect notes on her is nice because a lot of people are drafting her into Genoa right now. So if you have at least 100 effectiveness, I don't I don't know. Most people have effect resist Genoa. They're way better than mine. So I don't know. You guys have any tips to get better Riz? No, I do not. What do you play E7 on? LD play. Use LD player. If you guys need a link for LD player, I will give you a link. Hold on. The update drop already? No, we got five minutes. Want to build P team PvP ML team reverse airwall? Can you build? Show build, please. I mean, I just showed both of those, like, most recent ones I showed. I mean, as a new player, you just put whatever gear you can on air while you can be way slower, just get bulk. So try to get as much HP as you can, little effective, or effect res, most likely. I don't know about building around effectiveness. A, a splash of it doesn't hurt. And Spectre's Nebria, just whatever the highest damage set is. As a new player, a lot of the time, you can just do the free attack set. Are you starting your account? Probably. I, I, there's a good chance I'll start it tonight. If not, it'll be first thing in the morning. Question for Forge event, which is better torrent piece? Do you damage max and speed or crit chance? Just depends who, you, who are using it on, Dom. So, what's, the thing is, there's no maintenance? No. See Dark Corvus, yeah. Um, there depends on who you're using on. So if you're building a torrent piece for like a speed character, then am I showing dark Force? Um, then you want speed first, and then crit chance, crit damage, or attack, however you want to do it. However, your other gear stats up. Like you should, if you're doing whatever piece you're making, you should have an, a specific place in mind that fits with the other gear. You should like go and look exactly what stats you need. So are you are you gonna have enough crit chance? If not, then put a crit chance roll or two into it. If this all depends what you need. Yeah, do it at your own pace. Yeah, you don't need to rush through. Like when if you follow the guide, you don't need to rush through at all. I'll show him all Ken again. I'll show him all Ken, and then we should be good to go. Wait, I'm all Ken's here. Yeah, I, I went reasonably fast. I only played like four hours a day though, whenever I did the guide. It wasn't too, too fast. Are all four star artifacts viable for new players? No, only like half of them are probably. Yeah, only like half the four star artifacts are good. Better HP percentage or HP flat? HP percentage is always better on like every character. There's only like a couple in the game where flat's better. So you just usually the only time you roll flat HP rings or necks is whenever it has speed. If you'd roll a flat HP neck and it doesn't have speed on it, then don't roll it. 
because going in HP neck, I'm like, mm, you're not going to build DJ Basar. The, there's like two characters that benefit from is DJ Basar and Tamarin. Actually, I, I think Tamarin gets more from it, flat HP. I think those are like the only two characters. Flat HP is pretty bad, but if, if you have a flat HP piece with a lot of speed, then it's, it's fine. You can use it. But like, what am I doing? Flat HP. Like 17 speed. This is okay as 13 with no wasted stats. 11 speed, 11 speed. Obviously 11 really isn't high enough, but as you see, it works on my Elena. It's not terrible. All right, here we go. Two minutes. You guys ready? Is there a maintenance? Is there a maintenance? There is not a maintenance. Just go straight in. Are there four star artifacts that is not useful enough? I mean, there's a couple aren't great I mean at the beginning you just use whatever looks gonna be good but all right well if the thing with force artifacts is like Taga Hells you keep all Taga Hells oh <gasps> look at that overlord check and reward here it is Ooh, give me a million gold all right it's time you think Ainz is a strong hero no I don't think any of the club heroes are that strong to be fair Alright, there's Albedo. I hope, dude, give me. Pray for me that I pull some artifacts. Pray for me we pull artifacts. How many Tiger Hells do we need, though? 1,000. Like, I'm, I've am i been playing the game five years, and any Tiger Hells I get, I still save it, because you always need more. Alright, here we go. What's a Supreme Slate do? Is that only for the Clive characters? What's a Supreme Plate for? Is a Supreme Plate ma- What is a Supreme Plate? Hold on. Is that max imprint on somebody? If Supreme Plate is max imprint- There's no way, it's only 100 bucks. What's a Supreme Slate? A Supreme Slate only can be used on- What's a Supreme Slate? Because there's no way it max imprints something. Oh my god, people are summoning like crackheads. All right, here we go. Go to channel one. All right, we got a five star from this. That means all my luck was wasted. All my luck was wasted before. Now we're gonna have terrible luck. I mean, I'll take that, that's fine. You know all the luck's gone now. All right, here we go. Albedo time. Oh my god. Dude, first click, come on. Be a juicer. Come on. Please be her artifact. Please. Yes, already got one. Oh my god, that's huge. All right, first someone already got one artifact. I want three co or two copies of the artifacts throughout this. One, one pity, three copies of the artifact. And I will be happy. Artifact's good. It has a lot of potential. Come on, spark. Dang. Spark. No. Dang. It would have been nice to get her somewhat early. Man, the, the game tricked me. I thought I was going to get lucky. Yeah, the game tricked me. Oh my gosh. I hate this game. Not so far as far. Why couldn't I get two? Give me one more artifact before I pity her. Please, one more artifact. Okay, one more artifact. I'm begging. I 
How many did you save for artifact? None. Okay, well that's not a five star. Come on, be your artifact. Come on. Yes. Okay, I got it. I got everything I wanted. I'm happy. Anything extra? Anything else is just bonus, boys. Anything else is just bonus. When do we get salt here in two weeks? Oh, I wish that would have been another one. It sucks I didn't get any imprints over though. Come on, be a third one. Be a third one. Yes! Be a fourth one. Dang it. Alright. Well, we're to pity. Another spark? No? Okay. Alright, I, I, I can't be too sad. Spark? Dang. Alright, well, there's our Albedo. Pity gang? Of course I pity, but I got three artifacts along the way. You know how nice that is? Take that all day. Alright. Get rid of all these guys. Wait, do I even have penguins? Hopefully I have penguins. You want to do mine while you're at it? Not really. I don't want to go through the hassle of logging into your account, to be fair. Okay, so. Let me sell these. I did get another double edged crescent, which is nice. So 72 powder, so I can buy a third copy or a fourth copy. I love that it doesn't let you sell five stars from here now. That's a really good quality of life change. For science, someone buy it and tell me what Supreme Slate does. That's what I want to know. What is the Supreme Slate for? Get out of there. All right. Y'all only YouTube stream yet? Yeah, we're only doing YouTube today. Okay. Give me my artifacts. All right, so we got to decide what we're doing with the artifacts, though. There's no slate for a while. Man, the game's going to make me want to feed the artifacts into each other. I want mul I want multiple copies, but I don't know how many. Do we want three individual copies? I think three is probably it. Okay. Abedo, an artifact and one multi. You are super lucky. I pitied her, like always. Do I have any penguins? I do. Nice. I saved penguins. Dude, I'm on top of my stuff. Saved everything we needed. I don't know her build, though. I did not look at what I was going to do for her build. That is one thing that I goofed on. No artifact hit pity. That's brutal. That's the worst thing that can happen. No artifact hitting pity. The Corvus gear. I almost want to put her on my Eaton gear. When are we getting Ains? We should get Ains right after. We'll go get Ains before we do anything else. I'm just leveling her up, getting her ready. What did the gear event drop to? Uh, we need seven cold looks, seven cold looks, ten mercenary medicines to start. So remember that. Ten. And I DC'd. You're going through it. All right.
Oh, seven, seven cold looks, or wait, was it eight? Seven cold looks, and then ten mercenary medicines. Okay. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure what I want to do with Albedo. She probably needs speed. She probably needs speed. So building her on zero speed probably isn't gonna be great. Kinda wish I got Albedo though. So I can't land 150 bookmarks. Wait, if you summoned it all, try to get Albedo. I need to combine runes. Okay. She is fully awakened. Bad thing is, what are we doing with her Molagora situation? That's kind of a bad thing. That's skill two is the most important on her. We're just gonna use her as a general tank. All right, so we're gonna go get one Archer's Vision and two more Mercenary Medicines. I have them in here. Okay. So we're gonna build her on a really stupid build to start. What do you think? All right, so there's Albedo. The problem is we're not gonna have any Molagora for Ainz. What's this? What's going on in here? View story. Skip. View story. Skip. Oh, we have to fight. Oh, no. Can I even log into the game? So those of you guys that are on like global server, you might struggle. Usually every time there's like a big event like this, those of you guys that are on like global, I don't know how bad Asia server is. It might be really laggy for you, but luckily I am Europe server, so I shouldn't lag at all. I remember Ainz was the strongest character in AFK Arena. How's he look in this game? Not great. Global is tanking, I fear. Yeah, it'll just get worse too. It, there will be no getting better. Dude, why can't we get Hamtaro? as a pet. You know how cool it would be to have Hamtaro as a pet? Alright. I'm an eternal Raz run in global right now? Yep. Global server, like I said, every time there's a big event like this, I love that I'm not on global server. Everyone just suffers while I sit here and not... don't suffer. I wish he was this strong. I wish he was actually this strong. You know how nice that'd be? Imagine if he was this strong. Just a light counter for 18,000 damage would be so nice. I have no idea how I want to build these characters. Bubble server is nuked. Oof. Death sentence. Nice. Okay, is that all the story for this week? Or do I have to spend more currency? Give me Ainz, give me Ainz, give me Ainz, I need to level them up. Receive all. Alright, we got Ainz. Free ML 5 star? Insane! Let's go! Chapter 2, not available yet, that's next week. Okay. So, we do need to figure out our teams for farming, because we need to farm. A lot. What's going on in here? Nothing. Alright, let's go level up Ainz. Happy in Asia server. Asia server every collab is fucked. Yeah. Alright, where's Ainz? Lock our boy. We'll pull him up. Should put a review on them already. How am I supposed to review them? I haven't even looked at them. I don't even have a build for them yet. How am I supposed to review them? Wait, do I have enough penguins? I don't. <laughs> no, I don't have enough penguins. I gotta go. Tell me I have some stigma. I gotta have a little stigma, right? Surely I have at least like 10k. I have 40k. I will we'll revive him. Four Artie and still 10 to pity. That's super lucky. I got three three Arties on the way to pity. I'm happy with it. As a new player, any of the cloud units we're getting? Um, for either PV. I mean, anytime there's a collab, you really don't want to not get the units.
you start the game is so much fun. Yeah, Epic Epic Seven is a good game. As long as, especially if you like know what you're doing, it's very very good. If you don't know what you're doing though, this game can be not as fun. <laughs> No arty pitied. Yeah, that's what I expected. The fact I got three arties, I'm super happy. I need to look at um, how does the event currency work in this? Is it based off artifact? Because if it's based off artifact, I might have to only have two copies of the artifact, which sucks. Which the artifact's a whale artifact anyway, so getting three copies, kind of pushing it anyway, to be fair. At least you got 800 powder, yeah. You can, you can buy one, which is good, but... I bought one and I pulled three, so I have four and I have three individual copies right now. Four Albedos before one Artie, that might not be a bad thing. So if you go and look at the, uh, you go and look at this, you're going to want to farm this as much as you can. Uh, where's the farming of this though? Oh my gosh, what is all this? Imprint? Imprint? Oh, they're all imprints. Let's see. What is this? Oh my god! They didn't show this piece of gear. This piece of gear could be crackhead. This is a T88. This piece, this piece could roll nuts for some of you guys. Holy cow! That's exciting. Okay. So this is where you get your gear. So I guess, I mean, week one isn't bad to farm. I probably will farm a decent amount week one, but week two is like the more important one to farm. All right, lead heroes will be fully awakened level 60 with max enhanced skills when using the side story. Cool. Um, where is the thing? Here it is. Okay, so you need the artifacts. So if I fed all my artifacts into one, I'd get a 30% bonus. So I'd go from 20% to 30%. You, dude, I need to, I need to pull another arty because. That's a, I mean, 10% if you're farming a lot. The nice thing is Ainz gives it two, but his only gives 20. So I could get 50% extra currency. That wouldn't be too bad. What is, connection heroes will grant you additional enhancement effect when deployed as a lead hero. Is there not, do you not get imprint bonus? Like, do you get extra, extra effects for your imprints on this or no? I don't think you do. I think they made it less pay to win. The game is so laggy because everybody is playing the game right now. Okay, so I don't think the imprints matter. I don't think the imprints matter for this, do they? So I don't need to worry about going and getting more Al Albedos. Luna, you're done. You're going to watch me while playing Black Clover? Yeah, that's usually how it goes. That's... That's why I'm super happy I'm on Europe server. Okay, well we made some penguins. Let's go finish the guinea eins. It's only on eins, but what does it give? I didn't even see anything that it would give. Alright, we gotta decide how we're building eins. I kinda wanna do a Fectra's build. Like, Effector's build's gotta be decent, right? Ein's imprint gives buffs. But Albedo imprint doesn't give buffs? Is what you're saying? Do I have enough? Yeah, I should have enough. Oh my god, wait, did I just read that right? Does Ein's skill 3 need Mologora? Oh my god, this skill 3 needs Mologora. Oh, we're screwed. We are so screwed. Well, that's not good. Ein skill 3 needs Mologora. This is skill 2. This needs Mola too, honestly. I have two Mologora. It takes so many Mola. This is such a waste. Oh my gosh, it's such a waste because Ainz isn't going to be that good. Oh, I think I've already bought every Mologora possible. Yeah, I think I've bought everything. I can buy all these. That's kind of nice. Should have saved for Shaltier. 
You should have saved Kershaw too. I already bought him from the galaxy. I've already bought every Mologora. Uh-oh. I've been mulling some stupid stuff, okay guys? Not my fault. Well, no molas, okay. The way she goes. Let me do all this stuff real quick, sorry. I don't want to not do it while I'm in here because I'll forget to do it. Okay, I did all that. Member shop. I already bought the mola. I already bought the mola, but I need to buy these. Um. Well. Alright. Anyone else having connection issues? No, from what I hear, the game's working perfectly. Zero issues with the game right now. Okay. So we gotta figure out gear though. Oh, wait, what awakening material did I need? We need seven Horn of Desires. I'll just go by t the full 10. We need Horn of Desires. Click the wrong thing, per usual. You with their 10 player base? Yeah, you jealous? You mad? I get to play the game you don't? Sucks or suck? LOL? You use supremacy? I'll just back down. Okay. So, we're doomed on the Mulligore department. I know I, I mean, after today, I have like a million ways I could go earn Mulligoros. Do I have one of these? Aren't there Mulligoros in this stuff that you can get? Do I have one of, oh, I, I don't have an entry? Oh, this is in progress. Can you get molas from this? I'm not gonna do it right now, obviously. But I just wanna see. No Mologoras. You don't get Mologoras. Okay, that's not cool. Okay, um That sucks. So do we want effect resigns? Managed to lock Albedo before getting DC'd? Huge. That was exciting. Okay, so... Try to rip another 10 summon. I don't have enough for a 10 summon. Hold on. Let's go refresh out for a sec. I'm gonna rip another 10 summon and see if we get lucky. If I get one more copy of the artifact, I will be super happy. New title screen is lit though, so is the check and reward, the player check and reward thing. It's lit as well. There it is. Alright, let's rub another ton to see. Maybe we get a little lucky. It wasn't worth it. Was it worth it? No, I guess. I got bamboozled. Unfortunate. Alright, let's go build them. Our new players were at the farm and event stage. Um, this event, yes, if you're a new player. If you can get a, a team going that's decent, yes, it's super worth farming. I, I need to see how hard it is. So, what? how are we going to use her? Should we just, I'm, I think I'm just going to use her as a general tank. Just use her as a general tank at first. So the problem is, do I want to go HP here or no? How much HP does this end up being? I'm probably going to end up going speed set, but I just want to see how much this is. 32,000 HP albedo. Should we try this? 32k HP? Sounds kind of fun. I could also protection set her, but she won't be this much HP. Let's let's try it. It's 160 speed. Let's try it. That'll just be the first build. Her speed's decent. 
Like, the difference between Eaton boots and her boots are... I could have 32,000 HP and more defense. Or we... Wait, it's not even that much better. I think I'm gonna do Eaton boots. Why is this almost as good as this? The hell? Like, this would be... I'm doing Eaton boots. I'm just doing the whole Eaton build, sure. This is not how I'm gonna run her. Just keep that in mind. But artifact enhance. Did you wait for Shaltier? Are you not gonna be able to pull both? Yo, what's a panna? Are you not gonna be able to pull both? Is she worth summoning? I don't know, I just got her. Chill. Do one at a time, because I am desperate for... Please give me a great... Oh my gosh, I'm one away. Okay. Okay. 80% chance to deal additional damage, and she has 32,600 HP. So 32,600 HP. I have a change done. Get a little bit more tank. My game keeps crashing. Everybody's does if you're on global server, I think. Any other change zones I can do? This one I could change. If I had a flat HP counterstone, ooh, that'd be good. Okay, well, I'm not changing anything else. This will just have to do. This will do. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, 32,600 HP. Let's see how much she counters for. She just be used as general tank. Um, now Ainz. Let's figure out Ainz. I'm trying to decide, do I want to go... I need one more Mola. I hate it here. Nice soundtrack, thank you. Actually, I probably need to restart the soundtrack. Oh no, we still got like an hour. So I need Molas. Using Ainz right now is a little sketchy. Because he only has an 80% chance to land. I need a lot more Molas for him. And I can't Grace of Growth him because my Genu is in Grace of Growth. So do we want to do full bulk on him? Is he a lobby background? Not yet, no. Thanks, global server crash, yeah. Counter is best? No, I, I we're just doing it. I'm just trying to trying to have fun. Do should we start with the Effectress build? I don't know if he'll be bulky enough. I'm a little scared. Let's let's try it. Let's do effect designs. Just we'll keep it simple and just take the one gear set. The thing is, he's gonna be slow, so keeping him alive might be an issue. I'm a little worried about keeping him alive. He's only seventeen thousand HP. He doesn't have an artifact, so he's. He's gonna be 17,500 HP. His defense is decent though. His HP is just so low as a mage. So this piece is actually goaded on him. Half the Twitch streams are Raz running, yeah. That's why we're over here on YouTube doing doing things right. All right, let's try Effect Raz Ainz. I like the idea. Don't think it'll perform how we hope because if he dies, you're cooked. So. I feel like Proof of Valor is probably better on him. If I do this, he's never getting debuffed. He already has 270 effect res. Hmm, it's either Proof of Valor. 270 effect res, I don't know if that's enough. I don't like being under 300, but I think we'll try this at first. All right, 17-7, 276, 1500 defense, that's pretty decent. All right, so I think those are our two builds. We're we're trying very unconditional. No one else is going to try these builds. But I think these two builds are pretty funny. All right, let's 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 do arena first. Hold on. Hey, what are we looking at in arena? Oh, Einz takes extra damage to light characters. All right, let's meme. Let's bring them both in. We'll start. We'll start with this, and then we'll switch over to. Uh, uh, I 
Ooh, Eins is at the top. I like that. All right, so what do we want for last thing? Color Crow. The bad thing is the ML shoot is going to hurt. Um, I would like some... I mean, we already have a tank, actually. I want to play a really slow game because I want to see Eins pop off, and I also want to see Albedo's damage. So, honestly, probably the best pick is AOL. Let's click AOL skill. The thing is, the this will go faster than me. It should be fine. All right, let's let's try it. Let's try it. There's three light characters. Surely nothing goes wrong here. <laughs> bad cat with Ions. I don't. You don't really need bad cat there. Ions Ions get, gets counter buff anyway. Wait, does this one shot me? Not the worst damage. Summons were rigged as fuck. Well, I pitied mine, so. Alright, who are we death sentencing? We can't do the Aiden. Oh, wait. Do I? I just get one tapped here. I get one tapped. I get one tapped. No, I get one tapped. Oh, okay, so you can't really play him into Aiden. I just get one tapped. That sucks. I didn't think about that. There's no way he survives through attack buff Aiden. Well, that's unfortunate. So no picking him into Aiden. Because turn order is going to be bad. This Aiden is super slow. So it's infinite damage. If it was a fast Aiden, it would have been fine. That's why I brought what's her name. But watch. Bonk. Proof of Valor still did that much damage. That's brutal. Alright, well. We're dead. Let's see how much extra damage Shaltier does. Or... Albedo. Really? That artifact isn't that good. A multiplier on it is not that good. Alright, but either way. Don't bring it in. I brought I literally brought in the three light units, so what I deserve. Does Albedo look good? Her damage is pretty shit, to be fair. Do Ainz with Abigail? Yeah. This probably would have been a better Abigail game, I guess. It's, it was a zero speed Aiden. If it wasn't zero speed Aiden, I think we're fine. So. Alright, what's this do? Let's click this. Damn, first match of beta looks trashed here. I mean, I this is the worst matchup to bring him in. But the extra damage from 3F is nothing. I actually, I have 32,000 HP and it's doing 3K. Is it doing 3k? The artifact seems not very good. I was hoping it would do more. Alright, hold on. Is there any anything that... Eins is going to be garbage, guys. There's no way Eins isn't going to be garbage. Um, Trying to use them both at the same time. A little bit hard. Because she's not an actual mitigation knight. The thing is death sentence... Hold on, let me read him. It doesn't extinct, so you can't even use it against you fiends, really. He's, he's an RTA late game pick. I don't know how else to use him. Spells all buffs when it is for your silencing for one turn. Effect. It doesn't ignore. You can't ignore effect res on it. What's a soul burn? Grants an extra turn. Actually, his S1's kind of fun. I like that. But I don't know why he has a soul burn extra turn when he can't be reset anyway. To try to soul burn to get back into his skill 3 faster. Imagine 3F Bellion and Bad Cat. It's doing, like, I'm trying to see the maximum damage it could do. And it's doing no, no damage. Right? It, it's doing no damage. I'm on, I'm trying to just see the limits of it. How come you guys can log in? Because we're a different server. Let's just go slam an RT game. Oh, you get get for picking global. All right. See what we can do. When can we summon Shaltier in two weeks? Got yeah, two weeks.
So, Shaltir's probably already really bad into Genua. And... Ainz is gonna be probably terrible into this now. Is it a good idea to create an account now? Yeah. I mean, the best day to start up a 7 would be now. Dude, how in the world are these characters ever gonna be playable? How are they ever going to be playable? Let's be real. Like you can't you can't pick Ainz here because he has ML Land, he has Aiden, he has literally anything that can one shot you. He has he's unpl he's a fifth pick character at best, and he's there's too many characters that counter him. He takes like you saw how much that Aiden S3 did. Aiden will always one shot him. There will never be a world where Aiden doesn't one shot him. Overlord didn't pay much to create playable characters. Albedo might be playable, but she seems pretty tough too. Like, look at... How is there a collab out and this person doesn't take either collab character? Kind of crazy. So if I take both collab characters, we just die to Genua, correct? I don't care. I just want to see him on the board. I don't give a fuck. It's fine. That is incredible. That's incredible. Well, he got banned first game ever. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> At least I picked both so I got one through. That's funny. Junu was too fast. Ein's 100% ban rate. Let's go. Insane. Wait, Albedo doesn't proc on that? Really? Albedo doesn't proc on that. Okay. The more you know. I didn't even do enough damage. Uh-oh. My Abigail needs to be on damage to do this draft. Will Albedo proc here? Yes. Okay, hopefully this half health. The stupid Genua. Well, it won't half health Genua because I injured it. Oh, no, it did. Okay, good. All right. Well, we got one off the board, but... I don't see Albedo winning against a Yufin. Do you guys see that? Because I don't see it, personally. As we kill this. What's this do? Skill cooldown decreased by two turns. We'll soul burn it. Mitigate some damage. I need damage, uh, I need damage Abigail for this to work. Look at that, it does nothing. It does literally zero damage. Resisted the stun, nice, big. I'm not gonna be able to kill it. There's a stun. It's cursed. What's this do? When I accept for the bear is attack a single attack, additionally inflicts a portion of damage. I'm just hitting that. Wait, that's not who I wanted to hit. Dude, her damage is horrendous on the artifact. You can't you can't use the artifact for damage. You, if you're gonna do shell tier, you have to do damage shell tier. Look how bad this damage is. Like I have 32,000 HP. 32,000 HP. Shaltier? Shaltier will be usable. We've seen Shaltier's damage. She'll be fine.
You click S3 here. Good job. Proud of you. You said shout here. Oh, whatever. Albedo. Whatever her stupid name is. Am I going to get turn? Am I going to get turn here? I can't tell. I didn't strip. Game is ass. This game is ass. This game is ass. Um. I mean, what do I even do? If I would have stripped the stupid Euphine. Oh, it's because of the buff order. It's a new buff order thing. You can't even strip. All right, let's see how much she does. Okay, that's one of the two turns wasted. Okay. Well, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. She doesn't have S3 yet. I mean, I can't kill. I can't kill the Euphine. I can't kill the Euphine. And he's gonna Elbrus every time? I have to get rid of the, uh... Now, Ali suffers critical hit. Okay, this should kill it, right? This should kill the Carmen, right? It didn't? Oh my god, the 3F artifact is so bad. 3F artifact is so bad. No way, 3F artifact is so bad. That's depressing. 3F artifact is so bad, it does literally nothing. 3F already is so bad. It proc there, right? Mm, I almost won. I almost won. I almost won. I almost almost had a chance. Dang. I almost had a chance there. I almost killed it. Dude, 3F already? Why is it so bad? If 3F already actually did damage, like, um, Rocket Punch, it'd be fine. Can I see your stats? I did, I'm, tr I'm trying to see the limits of 3F already, and you can't build Albedo full bulk. You can't use her as, like, a tank, I don't think. Maybe for anti-cleave, but if you're going to use her as any kind of damage dealers, it did 5k. Yeah, but 5k, I'm better off doing damage. Right? Like, I'd be better off on a crit build. Like, I have 33,000 HP. Why is it not like Rocket Punch? If it was like Rocket Punch, it'd be great. Is Albedo good? The first the first match wasn't... I mean, if I'm Molded, let's be real. If I'm Molded, I win that match. <laughs> if I'm Molded, I win that match. Because every time you Soul Burn her, you get, you get her thing, like, right away. If I'm Molded, she would win there. Well, so let's let's try to be positive. If I was Mullet, she she would win there. Cause her her she would win there. But yeah, this this artifact so far first match. I mean, thinking about that though, she survived forever. Would any of these units be good for PVE? Ainz possibly, with his death sentence. I can't believe that guy banned Ainz. Mola? I don't have Mola. Mola, any, any of you guys got 50 bucks I could borrow slash have to buy a Mola or a Molagora pack? The only shot I'm going to have to Mola anything. You think they might buff her? I just hope they buff her artifact. What's her speed? Mine's only 160. Mine's legit as bulky as you can get one, basically. So, so don't get her artifact? I thought her artifact was going to be crazy good on a bunch of characters. Like, use it on, like, LR Crow, you get, like, an extra... Like, I'm only getting 5,000 extra damage on 32,000 HP. So on LR Crow, it would do... I mean, LR Crow S3, you would get an extra 3.5k, 14,000 total damage. That's decent numbers, and it makes it to where LR Crow's S1 actually does decent damage. But I think it's still, like, best possible artifact if you're doing like a high HP or crow but other than that other than high HP or crow I don't see it like on her she's better off with damage I mean I would have won let's let's be real I would have won that game if I was molded so the draft was fine ever like 
and or if Abigail was damage, Abigail might have helped a little bit. I just need to touch more damage because I, I didn't draft any damage. So maybe she's not as bad as that game made her look, but the artifact is as bad as that made her look. So this guy cooking. Why? Why Albedo? Pick Genua. Yeah, her S1 does extra damage already. That's the thing. You get the extra damage plus the artifact proc. So it would seem like you would get a ton of damage, right? Oh, yeah. How the fuck do we fight this? So he's trying to bait out an ML Landy from me. Trying to bait out ML Landy. I don't think I'll have enough effect rows, but I'm picking both every game until something. Maybe we get a banger game. I don't care how bad the drafts are. I'm picking them every game. So I should probably have taken ML Landy there. There's no reason the third pick made Chloe. So if he picks Landy, his win con is Landy Aiden. When is Shell Tear dropping? Uh, two, next week or two weeks? I'm not sure. I think it's next week. So there's ML Landy. Does he do Aiden too? If he does ML Landy Aiden, I lose for free. Ooh, Spec 10 is kind of rough too. Okay, that's not as bad. Um, so what's my last pick? I don't think my Genua will have enough effect rows. Oh wait, I'm not on I'm not on artifact on Ions. I don't I don't think I'll have enough to survive it. Well, I'm out of time. All right, I don't know what I do. I'm just gonna I don't know what I do here. Ban the Landy. I just I want I don't want to pick another damage dealer that just wins this game for free or like. I guess I could have picked a speed character because he goes fast, goes fast. We'll see. Why is ML5 Politis getting banned? I thought she was bad. She, who, who said she was bad? All right, well, I got them both through. They're not looking so good. And some streamers told me not to spend my pity on her. Hines gave you reason to build Ruel to get the invincibility. Ooh, invincibility doesn't sound too bad. Wait, why did I pick Shuna into... Why did I pick Shuna into this? I can't even click S3 for like an hour. Not the duel I wanted. That was not bad damage, right? Though I mean, he's super squishy, so it's just how Beto, I guess, won't work into tanks. I want to find a good team to farm the side story. We haven't, I haven't looked at side story yet. We're going to. All right, let's see if Ains resists it. He does. The bad thing is I'm going to give him Cascade. Who do we put the death sentence on first? Sharoon? Do you think if Sharoon has any effect res? If Sharoon has any effect res, that's bad. I almost just S1. No, wait. Wait, he has Sharoon. I can't even Ainz S1. Oh my god, he hit the... He hit me? Oh, he has a Fagnus buff. Yeah, we're switching off proof. Alright, it's over. We can't do proof. Yeah, we can't do proof. He gets Cascade and pushed here. Dude, ML Sharoon countering Ainz? That's brutal. I didn't even think about that. 
He gets immunity here, which actually helps me, I guess. Yeah, that kind of helps me a little bit. Who do I death sentence? This thing has a lot of effectiveness. It can't have any effect res. I'm not going to be able to survive because uh, Yuna has her turn. And I'm slowed on. And I'm getting injured anyway. Dang. Dang. <laughs> it's going to be so hard to play these characters, guys. It's going to be so hard. All right, here comes the S3. And he gets extra turn, right? And this is uncounterable or something? I don't even know what this does. And now I give him Cascade. Oh no. Alright, it's gonna be so hard. Holy cow, it's gonna be so hard. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like impossible to keep him alive. Like, MLK Ron just wins that game. That's a funny thing. Like, Ainz is just... He's, they're so bad. Albedo might be okay. Okay, Albedo might be okay, but trying to fit Ainz in the draft with her too, he's so bad. He's useless for PvP. He's like, maybe, maybe get a fifth pick occasionally. He's so bad. <laughs> I knew he would be, but... It can be resisted? Yeah, it can. I, it can. <laughs> That's the thing. Ainz thingy can be resisted. It can be 15 percented. <laughs> Yeah. It's so bad. And uh, PV does not allow you to put death sins on bosses. It's not surprised. Albedo might be okay, guys. Alright, don't don't be too sad about Albedo yet, but... Most likely not, not looking so hot. Alright, Zeo is available, so we're probably getting Zeo'd. I'm going to try to take Zeo if he doesn't take it. Am I Landy already? Let's just take some of the annoyances. Well, but if we take... Dude, he's already got Landy. We, we can't. We can't play him this game we can't he dies instantly to landy oh my god albedo is useless against ddr albedo's both the characters right here are useless both the characters right here are useless that's crazy Again, MLK Ron game. He doesn't have Soul Burn. MLK Ron would just win. Like, I'm going to pick him, but if he picks Aiden, I just die, right? There's no way you can ever play him. And you can't play Albedo into anything injury. They're both. He's unplayable, and I think. I think Albedo is only... Yeah, it's just Aiden. It's a free Aiden. It's a free Aiden. There's nothing you can do. He's so bad. <laughs> so he CR pushes. Hold on. He CR pushes. He S3s. He S3s. And then we're probably cooked. Or he S2s. He gets two CR pushes. I think Landy just one-shots us. Oh, this is impossible. It's legitimately impossible. You, you have to change your pre-bans to even play the characters. It's so bad. All right, well, Landy cooks us, yeah? Mission Impossible team. Best thing about him is his Artie. Yeah, his Artie is actually going to be nice to go on my Sage Ball. All right, bye, Sharoon. I mean, if I click S3, I have to.
And you can bottle the arty. You mean max max out the arty? It's blind. It's still hitting me through blind, but it is blind. Okay. The tack downed. It's honestly probably death sentence the DDR, but let's put it on Landy. What emulator should I use for PC? I use LD player. That's a link to it. Okay. Now Ein just has to survive. Wait, did we not unbuffle Bryceria? Wait, how are we unbuffle? Oh my god, Landy's going crazy with the blind. No silence. Wait, no maintenance? No. All right, Bryce area kills. I mean, technically, Ein's here. Ein's might win it. Ein's might win it. Oh, he, si he cleanses silence on Landy, didn't he? Did he just cleanse the silence on Landy? I think he did, right? Seven turns? How close is the Landy, dude? <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. It's almost, it's almost enough. I need the attack down here. I got it, good. All right, Ions, what's your S1 do? Stun, useless. Wait, we did it, we did it. I have holy sack, we won, we won. Even if he kills Ions, wait, no, if he kills Ions, I don't get holy sack. <sighs> Please miss. Oh my God, 11 turns. I went through 11 turns. I went through 11 turns. 11 turns just to not get it. What? 11 turns to not get it. Ooh, <laughs> he's bad. He's bad, boys. <laughs> I went through 11 turns for Eins to get hit. Oh my God, they might buff. They're not gonna buff, guys. There's no way. Ooh. 11 turns, dude. All right, let's try to figure out a game or some kind of way to get, try to come up with a draft order to get um, a game with the other character. Should have been fewer turns, it's not extinction. Exactly. Why is it 12 turns? I mean, it's 12 turns between you and the opponent, which is nice. But dude, I died on the 11th turn. You know how cool it would have been if if, he, if I got a win with him? I mean, I won, but... Why? What about a Beto artifact? It's terrible. It does no extra damage, hardly. All right, that should stop a DDR, right? You don't pick a DDR into Grand King Shroon, right? He knows Albedo. Well, does he know Albedo's coming? I don't know. Oh my god, it's every game. There's always an injury unit. There's no way to play this game without... How is everyone playing without picking Albedo, though? I can't pick DDR. If he picks DDR, I have to ban it, I think. Oh boy. I don't have enough Fegnus on AOL. I need like an AOL style character here. Cause I want I want to see the Albedo perform. Is the thing. There needs to be a character that stops. I mean, I kind of, I, I just want to pick them both. I don't know. Maybe, 
I don't want to just pick one and have it get banned. He picks Aiden. I gotta ban Aiden, right? Dark Corvus? Oh my god, this could be a juicer. Pick Dark Corvus. If he picks Dark Corvus, he bans Ainz, right? Oh, okay. Dang it, I gotta ban that. Alright, whatever. We'll fight top four. We die to Elena, I believe. Pretty sure. Dude really said, how is everyone out of whale? There's no way these people don't have Ainz. He's free. You banned Ainz. I don't know why I banned Ainz. He's got land, eh? But sure. <laughs> At least I got one of them through. I feel like I have to pick both in every draft because one will get banned every draft. The bad thing is I think my Shroon's faster than my Biblis, which could be an issue. But we just died a Shoe, right? It's going to do so much injury damage. Okay, he starts with the Savo. Am I free to play? Of course I'm free to play. Why would I ever spend money on Epic 7? Did he cut me? No, he didn't cut me. Not good. He didn't crit on anybody, but that makes sense. I have two grass units. Okay. That did, I mean, it does nothing. What do I even go for here? The shoe? How much damage through the Carmen? Zero. 5,000. I mean, Shu's gonna take turn first. I don't. Alright, we got the silence at least. Didn't push back either time. No salvo, that's big. Okay, he'll click S3. How's my turn order? Worst, worst time ever to have S3. Worst time ever to not not have it. Lyab, please take turn. He finally countered. My Bilbos could have been going crazy this whole game. It took him that long to counter. Has he Ellen it yet? Uh, yeah, he is. Do I have S3? I don't have S3. If Landy counters me here, I lose. Oh my gosh, incredible gameplay. Incredible gameplay. Blind? I only didn't know debuffs. Alright, well. I think Laya survives at least. Maybe. Let's see. 18,000 HP Landy and Frenzy 2. Oh, may I survive? Thank goodness. Cascade time. Okay. Kill this stupid thing. Do I have attack candy and silence? It was higher. It's higher risk for counter there in the silence. Oh my god, I didn't kill. Why not silence Landy instead? Because I'm not. I'm saving my soul burn. It's fine. Alright, let's see how much damage it does. Defense broken. Cascade. Bang. Beautiful. You wanna leave, brother? 
You want to play it out? Nice. There's an Albedo win. It wasn't an Albedo win. I don't know what she did, to be fair, but she was something. She did something. She existed. I just don't see her being good into Cleave either. I wonder what her actual damage is with Mola. Do you think it's decent? Maybe on a crit build? Someone who tests a crit build, let me know the damage. Is it copyright? Oh my god, you're right. I was... Oh wait, no it's not. No, it's Nikki Post. Yeah, it's Nikki Post. We're fine. Scared me. 10k damage from Albedo in the span of a match. Yeah, I think she needs to be damage build, but that's what it is. So, ML Landy again. Alright, this, we get to fight an Albedo. That's cool. Okay, so what do we want to do against Albedo? Bibless? I would normally Bibless. There's a good chance if I take Genua, we lose long game to Genua. Or a long game to, uh... ML Landy must have broken her first pick every match. So she's picked almost every RTA game as she's available. Almost never a game that if ML Landy's available, she doesn't get picked. I don't get last pick. That's the frustrating thing. I don't get last pick, so he just gets to pick Aiden for free. So I, I, I can't Ainz here. As much as I want to Ainz, I can't Ainz. There's no world where I can Ainz. Can't Edward. I'm going to pick Ainz. But he has a free last pick to beat me. Ainz DDR? I don't know. Try to prevent him from picking Aiden. It's the best I can do here. Please let Ainz through. He's got to ban DDR. Are you free to play? No, I'm, I've been playing the game for five years and it's my job. Of course I'm not free to play. I haven't spent a ton, but... I guess I had to ban fifth pick regardless. If he picks that, do I even have to ban it? Technically, my shirt Genua would kill it. Right? The bad thing is... I want to try this. He should ban DDR. He should ban DDR. He banned Genua. Okay. Hold on. Can you show me Albedo build? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't copy my build. But I'll show what I'm doing after this. Ein's AoE attacks like Dizzy, right? So we don't want to risk it. I really don't want to push this back either. That's fine. Is that a factor as Albedo? Wait. Okay, so who are we landing this on? Probably. This doesn't hit, right? Why does this not ignore effect resist? I'm not risking it in case that is. Watch, watch it not land. Watch it not land. Oh, I landed it. Okay, cool. If we duel with Ainz here, we lose. Thank goodness.
Mm, I don't want him to counter. I don't want him to counter. I kind of want to press S3. What do you think? If I press S, no, because that procs, uh, what's her name? Proc Venom. Wait. Oh my god, we're about to see another reason why Ainz is garbage. He's gonna be invincible when he takes 50k damage. He's gonna be invincible when he takes 50k damage. <laughs> no way. He's gonna be invincible when he takes 50k damage. <laughs> God, he's so bad. He's so bad. Oh, he's so bad. All right, this is just comedy at this point. Dang, Eins is crazy. Ooh, I guess I should have hit the tie window to proc him so that I had a chance to stun because it actually, well, I think I had pestilence. Oh my god, he's so bad. Does Ainz get 50 percent Yeah, and if they're invincible, or if they revive? Oh my god. Oh, these characters, I think, suck. Don't you just ban Elena, though? No, I had Landy. Landy one-shots Ainz. Landy just one-shots Ainz, so I don't really have that option. Man, my DDR is doing nothing. Oh, we get countered by what is nuts here. There it goes. Oh, he. I crit. He countered me. Of course, he hit sure in there. I don't want to kill the Albedo at this point. But I guess we will. Is Champ Z S3? Champ Z has an S3, but there's a good chance I'm going to end up dueling with Ions. I'm not going to click S2. Oh, this song sounds nice. It's, it's just, we're just listening to a Nikki playlist. I can't hit the Elena. We got too much bulk. All right, well, if we were molded, we'd have another chance at us three right here. Well, this ain't good. That is unfortunate. I just got provoked. I mean, how do I want it from here? Be real. There's Elena proc she has. I'm just clicking S3. How does the signs build affect Rose? Maybe you do need him on. I don't know about having him on speed because the more turns he takes, you might be in trouble.
What's Elena at? What is what is she at? What is Elena at? Two turns. It's gonna cleanse everything. Try this again. Okay, try it again, try it again, try it again. Second try. Oh no, this is gonna cause Champ Z to counter and he gets his proc, no! I don't kill. Full stall team might have worked if he didn't. I mean, this is a full stall team, basically. All right, seven turns. He has S3. I counter him. He counters me. Wait, he was silenced. That silence might be huge. Wait, that silence I think is huge. Hold on. Hold on. We get it. Wait, why do he counter? Oh, because he has a debuff. Oh no, am I gonna die to Champ Z? Okay, the damage got spread out decent. All right, all right, here we go. We get to see the boom finally, pop. Finds his full tank with F10E art. I'm not on F10E art now. You might be able to make that work. All right, we got a we got a Heinz win. We got a Heinz win. If he just picked Aiden though, we're just dead. Heinz <laughs> has too many counters. Too many counters. No animation on the 50k. No, it just does 50k. Here, if you, you guys were asking about the builds, those are the builds. Heinz has too many counters. But there are other ways to build them. Um, Obviously, I tried a super effect res build, so I don't have to worry about getting debuffed. Does he need the effect res? Like, you can go bulkier, but that's the thing is AoE attacking on your S1 is kind of sketchy. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of sketchy. I don't know if you even want this. What is base speed, actually? Not very fast. One, is it 105? Or 115. That's 115. It's not that bad. 115 base speed isn't that bad. I just don't know. I don't know where you could ever play him. Because his gimmick of taking more damage from light characters is brutal. Okay? This is brutal. ML Landy counters one time even if you're bulky and you are getting cooked. 25% extra damage with Aiden. You're getting one shot by literally any Aiden in the game. There's so And the thing is Lionheart Sermia. If you click us, or if he counters, like, and, and that's more unlikely to happen. But, man, he's, he's definitely a fifth pick character. Now, Albedo, not really sure. I want to get a couple more games with her. I think you have to do damage Albedo. I don't think using Albedo as, like, a, a kind of tanky thing will ever work. You hear me speak English and you type in Spanish when you could pull up Google Translate, type what you put in there, and then put it in chat. Impressive. But yeah, those are the two builds I'm trying for now, but we're probably gonna have to go. How's our Artie? Her Artie feels terrible. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know about her Artie. I'll be completely honest, I don't know. It feels really bad. There's no DDR, meaning he's playing Albedo, right? Yeah, I'm at I'm I'm at 32,000, and her artifact still feels bad. Okay, so we have two tanks. There's no Genua, but what do I want third pick? The, the thing, I don't know, does she proc on miss? Because when I've been hitting Aiden's, it does nothing. 
I wish there were Shalt here right now. But there's no lines. This guy might try to pick lines into me. I'd be happy if he did. I don't think I survive. I don't think I survive long enough, but we'll try it. What do I want last pick? It's not Ainz. As much as I would love to pick Ainz, it's not Ainz. I don't think Alvira does enough, but... It probably gets the ban. In fact, you lose a debuff when Ainz dies is so crazy, I know. I had it happen earlier. I had a ML Landy on turn 11. ML Landy S3 killed the Ainz and lost the buff. I had I had Emma Landy at 11 turns. One more turn, and she was blind and attacked down. She hit the iron and killed him. I'm just banning fifth pick. Or are we? No, we have to ban Rowana. I don't see, dude. I'm on counter set, counter set, counter, dual attack. I just gotta ban Rowana. It's not looking, not looking so good here. Uh oh. I don't know about this. I mean, I guess I just those two. Get some debuffs down while I can. I mean, I'm still gonna S3 onto the Bologna probably. We'll see. I might just S3 on somebody else. If I S3 on the Bologna here, I kind of want to just S3 Landy. Do I even S3 though? Kind of. But if I S3 on Bologna, I get extra Aiden damage. Let's S3 the Bologna. Let's just proc her once. I know it won't kill, but let's just get the Abigail proc out of the way, because this will do extra damage to everybody else. She's blind, so maybe she misses on her S3. The thing with s wanting, I want it to be an Albedo showcase anyway, so... Like, it's injured... We get, we take another counter from her... Oh wait! WAIT! How much did she heal? Oh, she hit. Ooh, the artifact could have killed. Look at that. Wait, this is kind of nice. This whole team's at one HP. Granted, he gets immunity. Dude, if if he wouldn't have healed enough, if the 3F already actually did real damage, we would have just won the game right there. That's crazy. If the 3F already actually did any damage, we would have won. But it does zero. I guess we kill the... Well, I don't even want to kill the Landy yet. What do we defense break this? I don't want to kill the Landy yet. Because then I don't have Biblis feeding. But I'll kill the Landy if this doesn't kill. No. Oh my god, this is a mistake. Do I just kill the Landy now? Kill Landy. Kill this. Take another counter. Okay, now are we going to be able to kill the Bologna? I think we should. He gets immunity here, though, which kind of sucks. All right, let's see how much damage this is. Oh, he left. Nice, there's an Albedo game. I mean, if you're on damage Albedo, she's probably pretty good. Let's be real. That little strip, it's all about the extra damage proc, though. So even, no, I don't even think that would have been that much better. The extra damage proc just isn't quite enough damage to do anything you want it to do. If it was, I mean, it works on AoE, whereas Rocket Punch doesn't. That's the trade-off, I guess. That's the trade-off. But 
I mean, that's a couple. I mean, we could technically make two videos, can't we? I could cut the stream into two different YouTube videos at this point. We did get a couple lines. Let's try to get one more of each, and then I'm going to make two little YouTube videos. I built my Ein's 18k HP 2k defense with 100 effectiveness. Not going through ER though. Thoughts, guys? I mean, you want more HP than defense for sure. In fact, your 2k defense, not ideal. Mercedes can revive once. I feel like Ein shouldn't be able to as well. I don't think in Ein's lore he has revive as the thing. Okay, this is a green violet game for sure, but what's the other pick? Something that doesn't care about getting reset that isn't gonna get cooked by Hayden. I mean, I'm just gonna slam mines. I don't care at this point. Why not? Worst draft I've ever done. And Echo, sure. He banned Albedo? Ooh, so maybe Albedo might be aight. All right, let's see if Violet gets reset or not. If Violet gets reset by Bologna, we lose instantly. Honestly, Ainz probably gets reset. But he doesn't have immunity. I don't know, it was looking, looking weird. All right, here we go, who's the S3? Ainz, probably. Or no, he probably hits Laya, he hits Laya. Oh, true. Ainz can't be reset. Maybe was he was wait was Ainz genius pick? Was Ainz genius pick? Wait, no, it's into Aiden. Ainz just gets one shot. You guys are stupid. Oh wait, hold on. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait a second. I mean, Ainz is dead right here, which is funny. Oh wait, he doesn't go for Heinz. He doesn't go for Heinz. Interesting. Who do we want to death sentence though? Wait, doesn't this strip? I kind of want to kill the Pyrrha. What do you think? The, the death sentence here is wasted, though. I mean, if we're playing smart, we get rid of the Pierre now. I want to see Ainz cook, but we have to, if we want any chance to win, because our Janu is more of our win con than Ainz is. But we have to get rid of that. Uh... You're supposed to apple, right? I don't, I forgot how to use Violet. I apple here, right? I think, don't you apple there? Nice 15%. Oh, he 15%ed the thing. That's even funnier. All right, Ein's duel. Lucky. I didn't get it. Good. Okay. All right, let's see. Can the Aiden one shot the Ein's though? Let's see, hit the Ainz, hit the Ainz. You get bonus damage. Maybe this guy doesn't know. He hasn't read Ainz yet. He hasn't read Ainz yet. Okay, that makes sense. He hasn't read Ainz yet. Hasn't read Ainz yet. As we gab here. He left. Ooh, that's a funny Ainz game, baby. Funny Ainz game. All right, now we're we're starting to cook here. The funny Ainz game. We'll take it. I'm on a five win streak spamming these characters. You guys say the characters might be bad, but hey, we're we're winning every game. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Either way, even if these characters aren't very good, Epic Seven is very fun right now. Right? Like I don't even mind that the characters aren't insane. This is fun.
Ein should just ignore effectors. Yeah. Ein's S3. The thing is, it's not fully mullet, so keep that in mind. As a chance not to land the, the thingy. Until people learn how to counter Ein's. He's already. It. Anyone who has a brain knows how to counter him already. He could have won that game instantly. He just has three Ein's. If he just has three Ein's with Aiden, he won. Because I can't get rid of his Pierre. His Pierre gets turned. S1 stuns my Janu and I lost. So that's. A buzz on him. All right. What did I draft last time? What was my third pick? Do you guys remember? What was my third pick last game? You guys are. What? What did I pick third? Genua. Good call. Because Genua kind of eats here. Carrot? What the heck? This is kind of bad, actually. Dude, there's no way to keep. There's no way to keep Ainz alive. There's no way to keep Ainz alive. There's no way to keep him alive. Hold on. I don't. Let's see if he makes a good last pick. There's no Landy available, so he might cook here. Maybe. Ricky. Winter? Ooh, Winter goes kind of hard, actually. He's banning Sharoon for sure. Banning Sharoon for sure. We just fight top four and lose Ions immediately. I think we have to. Let's just fight top four and lose Ions immediately. Now we lose the DDR. We lose the DDR. He's banning Sharoon. We lose the DDR. Because this will do 10k damage to me guaranteed. Actually, I would resist it, but the problem is it'll crit me. So it'll still do the damage. So, the bad thing is Winter counters Genua. I don't think, guys, I don't think this is it. I guess maybe I did have to let DDR stay. Yeah, I probably had to let DDR stay. Uh oh. Who's he go for first? Ainz? No, lie. Always lie. Albedo is gonna be burned to shit. There's no, there's no hope here. There's no hope here. I missed everything. Oh boy. There's already one burn. You just S3 Ions on me. This is not rocket science. This is S3 the Ions. You're fine. I already lost my strip for your immortality anyway. Is he S3 Ions or no? And he didn't? Crazy. He wants to prog his winter. I guess winter just... He wants to... I mean, at this point, everyone's invincible. I just, I just go into the Aiden and suffer. L let's, let's, let's go into the Aiden and suffer, and let's see how much damage it does to my, uh, see how much damage it does to my, uh, Heinz. Oh, never mind. Okay. You know, if I was stealth here, does it get turned? Oh no, if I was stealth, it wouldn't have mattered. Wait, does, does she have immunity? She does. That sucks. Yo, if I stripped on his S1, that wouldn't be too bad. Ow. What is the S3 here? Playa.
I don't know who. I mean, do I death sentence the carrot here? I guess maybe death sentence the carrot. But I want to strip him. Wait, I thought he couldn't proc that. Oh, it was sword, secret art sword strength. Okay. Dang it. Dang it. I, I should have hit the carrot with the uh, death sentence. I should have hit the carrot with death sentence. And he got the right pull. Lucky dog. All right, well, Beto's cooked. Four turns. I can't stun the carrot as the issue. Yeah, I can't stun carrot. Stun the Zeo, though. But now there's there's no one con. Are you using Layla's violin? I don't have enough effect Rosalyn, probably. Wait, how often can Ein's pocket stupid thingy? One more turn. We're dead. It was one turn away again. If I wasn't slow on Albedo. Well, he died. But I cannot win because I cannot stun the uh, the carrot. I can't stun the carrot. Yeah, I can't stun the carrot. Dang. Dang. <laughs> we tried. I can't let the DDR through though, can I? I wonder if I could let the DDR through. I think I could. Oh, there goes the win streak. Bring back the year two Dizzy build. Guys, there's a reason Dizzy doesn't work. I'll tell you right now, Ainz is going to be the same. Like, Dizzy, I mean, technically you could try to make Dizzy work in some drafts, but... No Genua, that's big. No Lia either? Alright, so there's no Genua, there's no that. What do I want? Biblis might be kind of rough, but let's take it. Choose bottles on Arthur Albedo or Shaltier. For right now, save them for Shaltier. Shaltier's artifacts can be pretty good. Uh oh. Oh no. Dude, there's two light units. We can't, we can't, we can't use them here. There's no way. There's two light units. There's two light units. It won't work. We have to, though. For the Instagram. How much is 32k proccing for? Like, maybe 5,000. Maybe. Maybe 5,000. I mean, DDR's just gonna fuck me, but if I let this through. Like, is there a world? Is there a world? Is there a world? Yeah. I don't think there's a world. Let's be real. Oh wait, oh wait, he could. Oh. Wait, he S1s INC wins. Oh, thank goodness he's stupid. If he S1 INC, he won immediately. That's so funny. If he counters me, I lose. Well, I'm silenced anyway. I don't really have an option. I have to just rip. Because he procs before I proc.
watch times. Oh, we missed, luckily. Yeah, he pr dang it. Dang it. All right, good. Watch, watch the damage on Ainz. How do I have Ainz? How do I have Ainz equipped? What do you mean? Wait, he survived. Stunner. Dang. If I would have stunned her, there was actually a chance here. That's the funniest part. It stripped her defense buff, but Ainz is still dead. Dang. Goodbye, Ainz. You did your best. I guess I could have killed Zio here. Annoying. Oh! Oh? No, I didn't strip. Annoying. He hit through blind. Please hit. Nice. Now nah, there's no one con. If I had stripped the defense break, maybe. Maybe if I stripped the defense break, maybe. Or if he had missed a Zeo hit. Didn't he dual attack me too? I do get turn. Two, that's how much damage it did. Is that really worth it? He has soul burn. He doesn't kill, but it's close. Yeah, hand guy, hand guy cleans up. Darn. Darn. Ooh, she almost lived. Dang it. If she would have lived right there, the Biblis got turned, I defense broke. If I would have just defense broke the Sermia on her and not just landed the defense break, it would have been good. But, dang. Close. It was decently close. Dines just got cooked, though. Dines <laughs> got absolutely cooked. If I could have got the S3 off with Ainz, though. Dude, if I could have got the S3 off with Ainz. I wish Biblis procced in a different order than Lionheart Sermia Cleanse. It'd be so nice. The thing was, I was silenced on uh, Sea Lily, so I had, I had really no options. But I have Ainz equipped with Effect Res build. I am like 300, 350 effect res on him. Ooh, we picked it first. All right, we're gonna try to Einz him, guaranteed. So, if we're going to try to Einz him. I'm going to pick Laya. Yufin. Actually, should I take Landy there? If I'm gonna try to Einz. The thing is, if I take Einz and he has the stupid other character, we're screwed, right? 32k procs for about two to three k. Yeah, it's like, it's like three k. Hey, what's up, Valerie? It's like three k, but I'm down. I'm down to see someone else's Albedo. Carrot and Albedo was pretty funny though. I'll give that person that. It was pretty funny. I guess he gets him a landy. Does he just do him a landy, Aiden? Aiden, Emma Landy, Emma Landy. AOL. Oh, he's gotta go. He's gotta go, Emma Landy. 
He's just looking at his light units like he's just waiting to see that MLA is available. Lionheart Sermia, that's probably bad. Let's be real, that's probably really bad. Is there a way we can play around the Lionheart is the question. Because Aiden's just going to one shot at Heinz. So if I Elvira ban Aiden, is there a win con? Unlikely. Got Albedo for his 10 pulls. Congrats. Is Albedo good? We're struggling with her. Let's see. Let's see this guy. If I wasn't using Ainz, I probably... Maybe I should do a real draft when the opponent tries to use the characters. He doesn't have soul burn, right? No. She's death sentenced. Let's see. Press us two and push above. Press us two and push above me. Nice. Albedo. Ooh, if we counter Albedo here, though, we're in trouble. Bad thing is she gets a defense break. And we're going to end up proccing. Who does he go for? He goes for Euphine. He wants the counter. Thank goodness I didn't counter. Uh, should I S3? I don't want to strip everything. But if we S3, yeah, let's S3. Because Lia shouldn't get turn, right? Wait, if I S3, does Lia get turn? She might. Does Lia get turn? Oh, look, look at the damage. Wasn't bad. sack fuck our, our turn order is so bad our turn order is so bad our turn order is so bad that's one this resistance that sucks whatever 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 that's fine whatever whatever he's got speed buff whatever I don't take turn I don't take turn against the speed buff Lionheart. He gets it. Whatever. Oh, I got Cascade. That Cascade boost saved me. I'm begging. Cascade boost saved me. You already covered the event? No, I haven't. I haven't looked at the event yet. I wanted to test the characters in RTA and see how they played. No. Come on. Why does he get a dual attack? If he gets another dual attack, while well, I have a chance for Ainz to go crazy. Wait, he's pressing S3? Oh, Sermia just dies then. Nice. We don't have to worry about Sermia the rest of the game. Yeah, Sermia's dead. But we're kind of cooked too, aren't we? I don't think Ainz soul is this, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I don't think Ayn solos this. We don't want to take any more Pestilence damage, if possible. Nice.
The more characters I kill, it's actually kind of a bad thing, to be completely fair. And we can't reset Ein's thingy. Yes, I click S3. I guess I click us. Wait, he's on. Was he on Soul Consolidation? Maybe I Soul Burn S1 here. Maybe I Soul Burn S1 here because he gets S2. No, he is on Push and Vile. Right? That was Push and Vile, right? That was Stun. Easy Ein's game, baby. Easy Ein's game, baby. Easy Ein's game, baby. Effect res Ein's, baby. How are you gonna stop that? Effect res Ein's. All right, we got some good games. All right, we need another good um, Albedo game, though. He's gonna play it out. He thinks he can win. I mean, there's no reason to burn. I definitely need to mull the eyes if I'm going to use them. Albedo is so bad. I don't know. I've got a couple of decent wins with her, but... Dude, I got some good eyes wins, though. That makes me feel good. Let's go. How oh, does the Awakening Elixir work? I can't use them on units. Do they need to be six-starred? I don't... I don't know. I don't... I don't remember. I feel like they need to be six-starred before you use them. So if you try to use it on a non six star unit, it won't work. So you have to like six, six star character and then use the potion on it. They do need to be six star. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do we have a roundabout number on three F scaling? I, I would I need to know the exact I, all I need to do is bring Albedo into some PV content and test it. is 9%. It's 9% caster's HP. 9%, so 32,000 would do about 3k. Twenty-eight eighty. It does 2880 damage. Well, this sucks. There's no Zeo. There's no way to play her this game, is there? There's no way to play Albedo this game. They're gonna pick it, but I get DDR'd, yeah. There's no way to play her. And I, I don't know how I'd fit an Eins in here either. That's so much damage coming in. Just a quick question regarding the event. Is there a way to cheese it? I'm sure there will be. Just give it give it a few hours. Tristan Wolf will have a guide up in no, no time. Give it a little bit and Tristan will have... He always has a guide almost right away. So, this is obviously you take DDR. If this person has DDR, you take DDR plus one. And I have to decide, I have to ban this. 
right? Ali? Albedo just gets cooked here, dude. This, this is, this force pick Albedo is literally impossible. I definitely can't pick the other character now. I can't pick Ayn too. No way. Ida? I mean, Edward will get banned. Edward will get banned. Edward gets banned. I do this. Ida cooks me, yeah. I think it's a Fagnus, Ida. I mean, I guess I just banned this, actually. Sure. He, oh my god, people are pussies. People are such pussies. Pussy. Really? On release day? Really? Oh. The event is really easy. Ayn does S3, does 45% of boss max HP on the hardest difficulty. It does that much. Just stun me. Man, I'm not looking so hot here. Does this does the first attack on Eda stun? If it does, I'm cooked. If it doesn't, thank goodness. Alright, we get one Edward hit. We pray we provoke the uh Politus. Oh wait. This might be bad. The damage. We silenced it, that doesn't help us at all. It kinda does, it's two turn silence, that's good at least. But I think Edward is just dead. Pretty sure. Yeah. At least he's silenced. He might not be able to kill Lai here. He definitely kills Ed. Well, Ed dead pick. Who's he hit here, Yuffie or Laya? The thing is, I can't S2 on my Laya either. Yeah, I can't S2 on Laya. I knew that would happen. Well, pray this kills. Nice. Wait, I have S1. Get rid of this, maybe? No, I won't do enough. Not through there well. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We've already procced our artifact. Hmm. I can't believe he banned her, though. Always age of server, too. It's always age of server. What's you guys' deal? <laughs> well, I mean, you could have let it through and maybe won. Yeah, maybe next time, if you let Albedo through, you might win. Heard. Why is your Janua not a one rider? I have a factor as Janua. As you saw, I didn't get stunned, slipped, stripped. Stunned, stripped, slipped. Anything blinded, unbuffable. I have a factor as Janua. And a factor as Janua does not go on wind rider. Unless you have, like, no damage. Yeah, the Supreme Slate only works on Calabians. Hey, a homie. Okay. Respect to this guy. 
If this guy first picks Ainz and then bans Albedo, I'm going to cry. Alright, pick Janua. Pick Janua. ML Shoe, okay. Blue car. DDR, and who else do I want? I mean, if I pick Aiden, I, I'm just a scumbag, right? If I pick Aiden here, I'm just a scumbag. I'll do Spez. Spez is less scumbag, right? He picks him a Landy, I ban him a Landy, and we go on with our lives. You pick DDR already, scumbag? I have to, I have Albedo. Ooh, actually, this is kind of cool. The Shroom's kind of cool. Right? I think Shroom's cool. You know what? Let's give him this. Let's give him this. I mean, we could just do this and one shot it, but let, let's let, let's give him let's give him that. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I like it. This this looks like a fair match. Oh, it's Alan Mao. That he's the homie. I love Alan Mao. Yeah, you have to pick DDR there so your opponent doesn't pick it. I have no. Wait, if he's effect resigns, I love the. He's not effect resigns. He's countering on that though. He's kind of tanky. Kind of tanky. I mean, do we do it to him? Nah, let's not do it to him. That'd be mean. Let's... Oh, I didn't stun anyway. So if I would S1 his uh, Ainz here, if I S1 his Ainz there, I'm gonna I'm gonna click S1 on the Ainz. Okay, and then stun good. If I would have stunned the Ainz and extincted it, I would felt terrible. I want to see the Ainz in a super bulk comp. This is a super bulky comp. The thing is, I get slowed. That's like the main thing I'm scared of. All right, who's who's the distance gone, Laya? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay, now do I be a scumbag? I think we do. Ooh, maybe he is a fact res. Maybe he is a Fectress. Ooh, Alan, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, Alan. I really like it. Let's go. Is this even gonna kill it? I have attack buff. Do very well. That's enough, we're getting good. Ooh, this one's fine. How good is Albedo? I don't know, to be fair. Descent six. <laughs> I mean, Spuds are gonna get a turn. Ooh, resist. Descent eight. Descent nine. All right, let's see. If, all right, if he lands any stuns, I get Cascade though. He didn't get any. All right, we let Laya die here. Ooh, he's got Guardian Ice Crystals going. Um, do I have anything else to use Soul Burn on? Nah. Rip the S3. Ooh, 50k! <laughs> Wait. That's a, that's a good S3. That's a smart S3. Smart S3. Do I have S3 on her? I don't. One more turn. I have no cleanse, so let's see what kind of debuffs he lands. I have no cleanse. Uh oh. Alright, I want to see the second death sentence.
He landed basically everything he needed. Ooh, actually Albedo, her artifact's doing decent damage. Oh, you got the, I got Cascade now. But I, ooh, I got Cascade, but I'm in trouble. All right, the artifact proccing on miss is kind of nice, except Arrow has 200 HP left, which sucks. Does he have S3? You have S3, right? Yes, you have S3. Click it, click it, click it. No, no S3. He wants Ainz up there. How tanky is his Ainz? I think it seems kind of tanky. All right, show me Dessens. Does he go for Albedo this time? Who's he go for? He's got to go for Albedo. You leave the Spez, you go for Albedo. Oh, he goes for Spez? You don't really need to. He's wanting me to rip this so he can press his Sharoon. So I'm going to press his, uh, his guy. Resist? Is he actually a fact res build? Oh, no. Okay. All right, that was pretty cool, though. That was a pretty cool game. That was cool, Alan. I love that. I'm going to put that in. I think we'll put that in as an Albedo game, too. That's pretty good. I'm I'm proud of Alan, though. He's actually testing units. He's always, always... Dude, my win rate's going up. This isn't good. Wait, why are we ranked 500 Emperor? Ooh, Legend player? How are you? All good? Just got Albedo artifacts, second multi? Lucky. I pitied Albedo, but I got three Arties along the way, which is really nice. No DDR. He's going Albedo right away. This might be like Light or somebody. Some, un some Legend streamer. Based out their pre-bans, that's for sure Albedo. No? Yo, what's up, XZ Kill? Gala Lilius. We don't like that at all. The air wall is going to be super annoying. I don't think I have anything speed wise that can deal with this is the issue. Right? Best I got. Did you try the event quest? Not yet, no. I haven't. I, I'll probably just wait for Tristan Wolf Guide and. Hey, if you guys haven't liked the stream, if you would be willing to like the stream, I'd appreciate it. It helps the video after I stream. I forgot about that. Should I gear my eyes if I'm only using it for the event? I mean, having gear for him on the event is probably nice. Do I even care about Aiden? Do we care about Aiden or do we care about Mitt? care about Aiden. Prevent Vigor buff. If my Zeo gets outsped, I'm going to laugh so hard. Who is this? He's going to be too tanky for me. I, I already know that, unfortunately. Okay. We did not get outsped. Oh, 
Of course, first attack is an Elbrus, and I didn't silence. Oh, is that just GG's already? I think that's just GG's already. GG's go next. GG go next game. There's another Elbrus already. See, every legend I ever play gets this kind of RNG every single time. It's crazy. Yeah, it's just crazy. Whatever. Came back for, for collab after two years. Lucky and early Albedo. And you got ML Poly? Hell yeah. Congrats. I think we just died to Euphine. There's no, there's no way we don't. He's already countered twice. It's basically over. And my see his his thing countered every time I clicked, but I haven't countered once with my I haven't countered once with my lander. And now if I salvo I lose. Yeah, now if I salvo I lose for sure. Well Oh I actually didn't salvo. Nice. Still think I lose for free, but I... Alright, we get zero damage. And he countered again. I haven't salvoed a single time. How have I not salvoed a single time? Oh. Oh. Oh, I salvoed. So we pushed Aiden up. All right. Show me counter. Oh, there we go. Now here's my luck. My luck. My luck was just waiting for me. Okay. My luck was just waiting for me. It's fine. That did no damage. He killed Lai here. We're dead. What's my one con? Counter on Landy. I have to counter Landy here, and I still don't even think I do enough damage as I think so tanky. Salvo. No, no Salvo. If if I would have countered Albedo plus her, we're gonna fine. Show me counter. Show me counter. No. No. Darn. Well, super RNG game. If Albedo countered there, we won. Darn. Oh. The attack down on Landy absolutely killed me. Lost to Legend player, unfortunate. Yo, Alan. Alan, you're Alan Mal, right? Right? I'm proud of you. Dude, do you have effect res? GG's earlier? Yeah, GG's, dude. I've had some actual banger games with Ainz already. He's not good. Ainz is terrible. You saw I had hard counter picked you the entire way. But I wanted to make sure your Ainz had a chance. I could have just went for stun. But does your Ainz have effect res? Or were you just 15 percenting me? <laughs> Which one does it? If you have effect res on Ainz, I feel like you couldn't. You were so tanky. What about Shaltier? She'll be okay. I don't think she'll be great, but... I mean, Shaltier just fits any Galilulius like that slot. She just fits on any of the slots, so... Dude... I hate this, actually. The Christy means that I definitely cannot Ainz, unfortunately. Yeah, Christy means definitely can't Ainz. I'm getting DDR'd if I don't pick DDR. 
If I pick DR, he gets Dragon King Sharoon. This looks cooked. Oh, this looks super cooked. So we're banning Genua. We're banning Genua. But we can't Ainz. I don't know a character that can work here. It's always just go back to Ayufine. Ayufine's terrible here, but what? Edward, 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 no. There, is there even a pick? Is there a pick in the entire game that could work here? I don't think there is. I don't think there's a single pick that'd ever work here. Like, ban Christie. Is that what I do? Ban Christie? Let him have everything? Sure. You can ban Biblis anyway. Funny. Well. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead to a Titan. We are dead to a Titan. Which gear should I use? You don't. You don't gear Ions. You guys are probably not gonna. You guys are probably not gonna have the gear to to make them work. Be completely honest with you. Does it actually affect Reznua and he hides it behind the thingy too? Not bad. This is the same guy we fought earlier. Big first turn. Wait, I don't have Soul Burn. What am I doing? I don't have Soul Burn. I just gamble. Fuck it. Nice. Okay, dude, why is it every time I click any S1, Landy goes sicko mode? Why is that? If you're farming the event, you can probably use basically any gear on irons. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure it's Effect Rest Genua. Will it be an Effect Rest Genua? Should we just fish for... We'll just fish for, um, what's it called? S3 turn 1. Perfect. Good fishing. Now we defense break you. Alan, can you share links on you? Oh my god, wait. Why am I getting resist? Oh, I have zero effectiveness on Shell Tier, that's why. Wait, he has he has S3. Oh, I guess I just get cooked. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Dude, why does this landy land four for four? That's crazy. Alright, well I lose. If I would have defense broke Landy, um, I don't know what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Well, this game is lost, boys. There is no win con, unfortunately. There's no win con. We lost Dragon King Sharoon. We got stunned at the worst turn. Yes, ones. I've already holy sacked. Have I holy sacked? No, I haven't yet. I guess technically we could have won if we would just hit the Genua. If we would have just hit Genua, I think we could have won. I thought I already holy sacked. 
He has not three though. No. That game is just tough. Sorry I didn't hear you. I don't I don't know. What was I gonna say? I don't think you can send links on YouTube, unfortunately. If I practice Junua there, he kills me. I revive. I counter Landy twice. I don't know. I don't know what last pick I could do there. That's just impossible. With shelter with uh, Albedo, it's impossible, I should say. You can. I mean, you could try to post a link. I don't know if it'll come through. I mean, do I just say Euphine again? I don't. I don't really know what other character I can pick for this. I don't trust Lionheart Sermia. Because if you fourth pick Lionheart Sermia, he picks two hard counters, and you lose. Like you, I think you have to. I think you have to pick Euphine here. And it's not good either. The only other option is a reset character. Anyone try to ER tank Ainz? That's what I'm doing right now. But the bad thing is they always have a... Uh, if he doesn't pick another light unit, the problem is this baits out Aiden's. If he doesn't pick another light unit though. Th these both bait out an Aiden. I'll pick Ainz, but I've been doing effect res Ainz. Gonna work a night. Yep, there's Aiden. Fuck. I don't have Biblos either to help me survive. Well, I can't let this up. I have 350 effect res on Ions. So we just die to DDR basically. Basically just die to DDR. So I, I think I need Vigor buff, right? If I want any chance to win, I have to take Vigor buff. It's not gonna not gonna go well for me, but we're gonna take it. I guess the problem with doing that is I can't. Uh... Yeah, the problem with doing that is I can't. Whatever. What should I summon on as a new player? I mean, you can just wait, just wait and see how people. Just post your Ryan's build in Discord. Okay, let me see it. Uh, which, which channel? General chat? Flex. Alright, it's in flex, I got it. You tanky? You 106 effect rest, so yeah, you do. You do stop my spez stun at least. Alright, well, we are dead to DDR. Cool! I guess I have to take Bunny Dom there. Look how many buffs are on this Landy. Look how many buffs are on this enemy team. That's hot. Mm, yeah. Give me give me some more of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Makes me hungry. Well, Ainz is useless for seven turns now. I would have killed the Landy too, I think, because he would have kept sleeping me and I would have had a bunch of dead turns. Oh my god, stop salvoing, you pussy.
Yeah, it's pointless to do this because he's just going to get more buffs. He hasn't even S3 Lulucar yet. Dude, are you kidding? Salvo. Ooh. All right, well, we're dead. Iron Stun is so rare. Well, I mean, everything has effect rows. Or immunity, or can't be stunned, Landy, thank you. Sick character. That's so garbage, though. Why? Why? Like, why can it be resisted? Why can... Why can that skill be resisted? What's the point of having that skill? It's not even that good. Why can it be resisted? I would love to know. Make it make sense. Did you put Sarah Ren on Irons? I wouldn't build Irons in general. If I'm being completely honest, I would just not build them. That's pr your best play. Man, if you... I provoke. Like this. I can't attack right here. I don't think I can win, but maybe I can win. I don't have enough souls. I have to get lucky on the landy and then... Alright. I have to get lucky on the landy here. I died. <laughs> Dude, fuck off. <laughs> so annoying. I died. Landy countered. Bang. Sick game. Well, so Ein's biggest problem... I mean, he's not fully molded, so maybe I just didn't proc it. The strip all boss is kind of nice. But, dude, the fact that his S3 isn't guaranteed is insane. Like, why would you not make his S3 guaranteed? Why? Like, yeah, once I mole it, maybe I didn't proc, but the fact that it can be 15%ed without a... a uh, anything has no like this is so bad he's such a bad character there's no way anyone will ever play him because he's not consistent if he if like all they had to do was make this unresistible if you if this is unresistible he's he's a meta character you can pick him occasionally but do i summon or skip um give it a few days no one ever knows right away any of you that ever are playing a gacha game and you see someone, you, well, a PvP gacha game, you see someone trying a character on day one, they'd have no idea. So far, Albedo, Albedo feels medium. Like, she, she can work. I think there's better picks, but she can work. I think her best use case for me is I'll, I will pick her into Karina. I think I'll pick her into Karina. But either way, I don't think you do this build. I think you do more of a damage build. Aim for 24,000 HP or so. 20, 24, 25 on damage. And I think she'd be alright. But this build, I wanted to try to maximize the 3F Arty. And 3F Arty sucks. So, this artifact does... I mean, it's okay, but it's not Rocket Punch. That's the best way to put it. It's an okay artifact, but it's not Rocket Punch. I mean... On a Counter Bellion or LR Crow, it would go okay. Because it, it, it does become a lot of extra damage. But otherwise, not the greatest. Who else can use 3F Arty? Um, LR Crow and Bellion. Counter Bellion. Only Counter Bellion. Basically. But nobody knows. Just give it give it a few days before you decide. The thing is, in all honesty, it's worth summoning them to farm the side story. The side story is really good to farm. And there's the DDR right away. Okay. 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 Well, no fun character this game. You know what? I'm picking DDR. 
straight into you. I don't give a fuck. How to pick DDR Bunny Dom. Then what's my last damage dealer though? I'm picking DDR Bunny Dom. There's no, like this game I might just leave actually. I'm all blown and get stunned. Can you give us guide for Sandstorm Desert Overlord side story? It's hard AF. I haven't looked at it yet. Mm, I don't have any mitts, so Bologna would just die. A Fiend, not the greatest here. You know what? This is just a stupid match, so let's just play stupid. Agreed? I mean, I can never kill the Benimara. But I can never sleep a Landy. I mean, I just died a Landy. He's got DDR Sharoon. How do I not die to Landy? Let's be real. This is the ban because then Janua can't go. He might ban Janua. I think I gotta ban this though. With Bunny Dom, I have two things like sleep. Yeah, this is just. Oh my gosh. DDR being available. You can't really play the new characters. That's what they needed though. If they would have made if they would have made the new characters counter DDR. How nice that would be. I'm just clicking. I'm just gonna click and die right away. Right? Did I just click and die right away? Yeah, let's just click and die right away. Oh my god, he didn't counter me first turn? Crazy. Alright, let's see the Benny Mara damage. This would be sick. Once they pick Dragon King Sharon, though, you're just fucked. Like, I don't know how in the world I'd ever not just instantly die to that. Once they pick ML Sharon. You're getting DDR'd, so you just have to basically come up with a way to fight ML Sharoon. There's really no way to fight ML Sharoon. And Janua does not do enough damage for this, so we are dead. Unfortunate. Go ahead and hit the Landy. And laugh at our damage. Yep, funny. Hilarious. Great damage. All right, now we can leave. Like those games, you can win them. You just play on the band DDR. But Albedo into Dragon King Sharoon is never gonna work. Ains into Dragon King Sharoon, you can't. You, like once they pick Dragon King Sharoon, it shuts down every new character. There's no way you can Albedo into Dragon King Sh or uh, Albedo into either. Because once Albedo gets defense broken, so once Albedo's defense broken, you're kind of cooked. And he can pick ML Shu as well. And once they have Dragon King Shuren, there's no fighting ML Shu. Unfortunate. So some of these games are just impossible. I can't believe no one's picking the new characters, like, at all. How do you, how does a collab happen and nobody plays the new characters? What's happening? Like, everyone's still just slamming ML Landy immediately. No one is playing the new characters. They're just still just slamming ML Landy, not even caring to play. Like, look, they're not even trying to. I mean, I'm doing it. Um... I'll also take Celius, I guess. He takes Politus. He takes Janua. Well, Janua first. DDR again. It's every game. 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 Win con here.
Abedo ignores injury for the whole team. Yeah. Anything that would have fought DDR would have been insane for this club. If they'd literally let anything fight DDR. That's all they needed. Just anything to fight DDR. We're chilling. He banned Dragon King Sharoon. We have a stupid game and we die. Yep. Nice. DDR suck. Bad things if I push back, we're still in the same crappy position, correct? Yeah, we're still in the same crappy position. It's at 93, I push 25, I go 95, he still gets turn. I'm not quite fast enough. I'm almost fast enough. If I was a little bit faster on Ions, this would be amazing right here. Just slightly faster on him. How much does 3F already do? 3K when you have 30,000 HP. Ooh, I did get turned. Okay. So we so we just put bomb on Landy, correct? Do we bomb Landy? I guess, I think Landy's the safest. The thing is, I think we died a shoe long game. I think we died a shoe long game though. I don't know who to put it on. Who did it go on? If this goes on Bunny Down, I'd be so mad because it won't hit. Oh my god. That's two in a row. 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 <laughs> oh, Lines is such a is such a shitty character. This is the worst collab they've ever done. Oh my god, these characters suck. Oh, they're so bad. It's like they it's like they made these characters for like ten metas ago. Like they made these characters for 10 metas, metas ago. That's so bad. It's unbelievably bad. Depressingly bad. When they don't have mitt though, Albedo's damage isn't bad when they don't have mitt. Nice, didn't have to soul burn to land that. Wish that was me. Look, that's not that bad of damage. Okay, but ML Landy's still obviously ML Landy. Look, that wasn't bad damage. When they don't have mitt, this is actually chonky. When they don't have mitt, it's actually going crazy. We're just dead to ML Landy right here, but when they don't have mitt, it kinda goes hard. Okay, there's infinite more damage. And we're dead. Nice. But now, the, the the characters are unplayable unless you make certain pre-bands. Oh, I resisted one. Nice. Damage not too bad, though. But they can't, I mean... You're not going to have any success with them in RTA. Like, in what world would Shaltier work? Or not Shaltier. In what world would Albedo work? Speed Albedo? There's no world where Albedo would work. Because either she has no HP... There's no world where she'd work. Do I stop going for Albedo if I get one copy of her in Artifact? Yes. Yeah, right now I'm on counter set. I'm on counter set, but we literally just get DDR'd every single game. If they get ML Landy DDR, you lose every game, so it doesn't really matter. And it, I could pre-ban DDR and then we just get cleaved. So, that's your two options. Those are your two options. All you got. Now, for anti-cleave, Albedo might be nice, though. But for me, there's literally no world where I'd ever use her. Like, maybe 4th, 5th pick into Karina. That's literally it. 4th, 5th pick into Karina. That would be the only world I'd ever use this character. But for anti-cleave, if you let Ran through... If you let Ran through, it might work.
But if I do Albedo here, he's just gonna go DDR again. Let, let's see, let's see. If he goes DDR in my landy, I'm gonna cry laughing. I wonder how these games would be going though if my... No, my guy's dying too fast. My Eins is dying too fast. We'll, we'll try different builds on him tomorrow, but as of right now, not looking so hot. This would be a good child tier game. Child tier would go crazy this game. Ooh, I wonder if this guy has LR Crow on the thingy or not. Zio's not banned. I think you can safely pick that. And you picked Politus plus what? Is there another fire character? Because Zio's banned. You could probably just. Nah, I have. Oh, give me that. I have no cleanse. This is the only problem into the loot car. And I guaranteed proc the little car with this, so this wasn't a great pick. I guaranteed proc it, and I have no cleanse. Probably screwed. LRK on 3F? Yeah. I'm thinking LRK might be on 3F, which would be cool. But once they pick tank, Albedo doesn't do enough. So Albedo is literally just an anti-cleave character. So if you're pulling Albedo, I think she'll be fine for you when you get into RTA. If anyone tries to ran cleave you, just slam Albedo. You'll have to ban DDR every game that he gets picked or pre-ban him, but. Man, fifth pick. Both of those were decent picks into me. He bans the Elvira. Not looking good. Because if I click S3, he cuts. Oh, hold on, the audio's messed up. If I click S3, he cuts. I guess. I guess we take bigger buff for Albedo, I don't know. My only play from here is push back the Laia. Maybe. Push back Lionheart, push back Laia. Push back Laia. Good, that was so good. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. I've missed, have I missed like every debuff all day? I think I have. I think I've missed literally every debuff. Like a level 3 Overlord event. I'll check out the Overlord event. Yeah, he landed everything too. But oh, we're dead, boys. Unfortunate. He landed. I uh, missed two blinds. Yeah, but we're never going to kill the other crowd. Uh, if I stun one or the other, do I survive? I mean, let's just go for stun LR crow. Oh, hey, we hit it. Hold on. We're not dead yet. Insane. Except I don't think we get turn is the problem. This, wait, this procs her early. Hold on. We have to kill Laia more than LR Crow. Yeah, we have to kill Laia more than LR Crow. Barely half helped it. Maybe my Gala is too fast. Laia has us too. We're not fast enough. 
We're not fast enough. The only way we can win is if we pull. The only way we can win is if we pull Sharoon. Nope. He has us too. Yeah, he has us too. Unfortunate. We get LH seed. My Gala just doesn't have enough damage, but even if she didn't have the damage, we'd still be in the same position. We'd, we would have been dead faster, so. It is what it is. Dragon, nothing survives here. Dragon Shining Churn can't survive. Oh yeah, this is my last game. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up after this. I'm gonna go grab any good matches and call it a day. You can't kill Dragon King here. Wait, can I win? Yes, yeah, kill Gala. You got us one Gala. This Lionheart's kind of low damage. Yeah, S1 Gala. Ooh, do I want to S1 here and then S3 on the wraparound? I think it's I'm blind. I think I S1 here. <laughs> okay, cool. Never mind. I'm missing every debuff today. It's over. I'm missing every single debuff. There's nothing I can do. I'm missing every debuff. Yeah, I'm missing every debuff. This is really shitty. And I get the worst pull there too. Well, I missed every debuff. Getting I'm Stay Rank will make Sage Shit 4 easy, yeah. <laughs> get resisted again. <laughs> <laughs> GG's. All right. So first, first impressions of new characters. They suck. Albedo might be good into. They suck. Albedo might be good into. Um, Anticleave. Like Albedo into Anticleave, she does decent damage. I'm not gonna lie. Into Anticleave, she does decent damage. We went all the way to rank 500, back down to champ. <laughs> That's hilarious. No one played the new characters against me even. Like we had one Ainz and two Albedos. That's all we got. That's all people did against me. Like so, the, no one's even trying to pick them. They're so bad. But yeah, she. I think she's just anti cleave. If someone tries to rain you, you just pick it. I'm probably saving for Shaltier. Yeah, Shaltier should have more usability, but she still falls into that like 280, 290 speed category, where she's gonna be hard to use. She'll be uh, like Gala Lilius for other things. Hey, good morning. Hey, I'm getting ready to end stream. Justin, you are late. But yeah, that's my initial impressions of him. Not too, not too good. But it is what it is. But I'll, I'll be back live in the morning, maybe. In the morning or tomorrow, like afternoon. We'll see. I might, might mess with the builds. I'm gonna go work on um, kind of massacre. So you pull a beta for meta. She's collector must. Yeah. I think she has a place in the meta, but you just can't early pick her. So I'm early picking her. Best way to farm the event, level four or five. I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at this. I, I'm going to guess I have to build my characters on damage. And now that we know the 3F artifact isn't as good as we were hoping, I almost want to feed them all into one copy. Because then I'll get plus 30%. You can't farm five, it's one, so. I think I'm just gonna feed all of them into one. I might try to pull a second one, but I want the event currency. Where to get scrolls? You get them from uh, in here. Or what do you mean scrolls? These are the Ein's imprints. You need them on damage though, don't you? Do you bring a healer to this even? I don't know. I'll just try this real quick.
I went Destro Beta with 24 HP. She gets 50% extra, so actually does good damage. Yeah, I'm gonna switch mine to DPS for this. I threw random runs on them. They're clearing with a healer. Are you doing level four? What does level five give you? Like discord farm level four on repeat. Um, which chat in discord? Use healer for five. Is it in general chat? Oh, you get two gold. Ooh. Banger. Okay. Wait, how do you get Ainz's artifact? We want to get Ainz's artifact as fast as possible. We want to be as efficient as we can with this. Get some copies with the imprints? Okay. View story. Wait, so you can't even get all the eins? So it's not even good to farm right away because the story's locked? I need to go put the eins already on. Wait, can you not get? There's two copies with the random loot too, which is annoying. This seems insanely easy. Does it get harder at level 3? Like, I'm not even needing the bonus damage. Okay, let me go put Ein's Artifact on. Like, my neither of my characters are on damage. Change. Only if I was remotely difficult? Okay. So you don't need a healer though, so I can just put another damage dealer in and we're chilling. Staff of Vines all going. Not hard, just takes a while at higher levels. So at this level it'll take a little bit longer. I feel like with a healer I literally can't die, but what's a what's a high damage dealer? I mean, let's do it. No artifact bonuses stack? They do. You you want as many artifacts as you can have. You can get up to what is it, fifty percent extra? And if you're going to farm this a lot, it's really important to have that. Do, do, do they end up having effect rows? Not really. They didn't put effect rows on them so that your beta can still strip. <laughs> it's funny. Having both albedo too does help a lot. Yeah, I know you get like a bunch of bonus stats and stuff. This should be really easy to farm because it's like meant for new player catch up. Hey, what's up, Harry? Oh, killing the minions does that much extra damage? Do, does Albedo have- oh wait, no, it just does the extra damage anyway. Wait, my Albedo has 50,000 HP. I just noticed my Albedo has 50,000 HP. How would I ever die? Realistically. I have 50,000 HP on Albedo. <laughs> Is 50% free? That's insane. What's Albedo's imprint? Is it HP? If Albedo's imprint's HP, if I pulled a couple of, yeah, if I pulled a couple imprints, I'd have 50k HP. That's so funny. I don't have Albedo, so no free 50k damage from creeps. I need three Ein's ulti to clear level three. Well, I just cleared level three in like four seconds. So let's see level four. Sitting on 40k with bad Destro set. Yeah, I have no crit chance or crit damage though. My Albedo is just pure HP. What emulator do you use? I use LD Player. Here's a link to it if you would like to use it. I use LD Player 9.
So is it just having Albedo on your team when you kill the minions you get 15k? It looks like it. So every time I kill one of these I just get... That's so much... You just get infinite damage for free. Was your build for Ainz? I have one on an Effect Res build right now. Albedo's worth pulling for her if you're going to farm this event, yeah. I think she's fine for anti-cleave, but otherwise I don't think she's great. She also spreads death sense to all minions with a single attack. Oh, well. Do the minions respawn? If the minions respawn, this is so easy. <laughs> this takes a little... I need to find a speed farm for this. This is already reasonably... Because this is the... This is a stage... Oh, they do respawn. This is a stage you farm though, right? When it does four turns, it'll resummon minions. So it's like it's like the speed of a, a regular hunt, I guess. A little bit slower than regular hunt. But there's there's people this is easy enough that people are gonna find a way to one shot it like super fast. So blue stack's good too. I hate blue stacks personally. That's why I use LD player. But blue sex does work from what I hear. For someone early in your guide, should I change my priority to doing this event? Um, I mean, you would get better gear, yeah. The problem is you'll have no upgrade materials. So, I think if you tried to farm this guide as a new player, you might struggle a little bit. Look how much ice cream buff heals. I heal 10,000 every ice cream buff. I think this is, I mean, this team's gonna work. Blue Sox, yeah, Blue Sox has a ton of ads. I think you can turn the ads off though. What does Ein's imprint do for this? Like, where do you read what the imprints do? I would like to see. Emma Landy's nice because she kills the, yeah, it's, it's so free. When you do select team, let me go read. 81, that's all I get per run. 81, I'll get about 100 per run. It's 120, so it'll be 120 stamina per one piece of gear. That's a little steep. I'm not gonna lie, that's a little steep. Level five. Do you get like bonus currency for beating this? I wonder if this will even clear it. Let's try to clear this real quick and then. Use event pet. Oh, event pet works. Okay, good, good call, good call. I'll put event pet on. I should probably put event pet on now, actually. Hold on. Because if you only get. All right, how do you check? How do you check imprints and stuff? Do you click over here? Like, where do you click? Details. I see. Curse, decrease the boss ancient curse level by two. You can't even see what these are? Why can't I even see what these are? Oh, that's Eins. But you don't get anything for Albedo. That's really good. After using skill recovers health of two allies with the lowest health. Oh, so it makes it where you don't need to bring a healer. Um, increases fixed damage death sentence by 60%. Oh, it doesn't show the last two because you can't get them this week. Okay. But, uh, pet. There we go. Oh, wait, you can only do this once? You have to beat level 5 oh, to see the other imprints. Ancient Curse is a big thing that reducing your stats by like 50%. Okay, so we do need Ein's copies. So if you farm Ein's copies, level 3 or level 5 is super easy, probably. How much effect res does it have? That's 50% effect res, that kind of sucks. Yeah, so you kind of want to build a little effect in this guy. I just missed death sentence, didn't I? Or I missed defense break on Albedo. I don't know how much that's going to affect it realistically. Heinz has his artifact, so he should have an effect nest at this. I don't have mold on him, so. Alright, well, I hit it.
Like, they all have death sentence on them, but it doesn't even help because they're going to die anyway. <laughs> Alright, I can't wait for someone to find a speed team for this, though. It's basically just max out your eyes, and your team's gonna be super fast. There isn't much you can do to speed it up, because your other characters... What do your other characters do? They don't really do anything. They do, like, no damage. To help kill the back mobs, but you can basically just two man this once you have Ainz. Just Ainz and Albedo. It'll probably work because with Albedo, or yeah, with Albedo giving death sentence to the back mobs, do you really care? And if Ainz is healing on top of it. And because you get more death sentence damage too. So yeah, it's literally just Mola Ainz to skill three. Well, Mole Ainz is skill 3. I'll be able to bring G, Perk, and Fire Sherry to speed it up, give Ainz more turns. It's not bad. But does it really does it really speed it up? I guess you get death sentence faster, I see. So you, but what if you what if you get death sentence too fast? Wait, this is level 5, so this is taking longer than level 4 would. Yeah, it's level 5, so it's taking a little longer than level 4 would, but it's still super fast. So, it's kind of a pay to win event, but not too bad. I kind of want to start a new account. So, start a new account, make the guide. Or just start a new account, make the guide, but also just farm this. How, how crazy do you think a new account could be? Starting right now and farming this with all of your resources. Probably pretty good. Oh, the event and it ignores res on S3. Oh, okay, so we don't even have to worry about any of that. Nice. Okay, never mind. Dude, 50,000 HPL beta is so funny. It'd be better if it started two, uh, week two with the second set of gear. Well, the thing is, I have to play through the beginning of the game. So. The, the first set of gear is, isn't the greatest. I will say that. A lot of people are probably not even going to farm this that much. I think a lot of people will just wait until week two. Nice. All right, that's cleared. How much did I get? 226. Isn't the first thing cost 500? Okay, so... Is this... You, can you go back into level 5? No. Okay, so level 5 is a one-time deal. Okay, level 4 though. Well, I guess we just let it go. So we have her artifact where we're getting... You don't have to level up the artifact, you just have to limit break it. So with Ainz's artifact, we can get another 20%, I think. Is it another 20%? Either another 10 or 20. I think it's another 20% out of it. So we just have to get the Ainz copies, and then we'll get a little over 100 a run. So... Yeah, it's like, I guess it's still, it's still about four runs. It's still about four runs per piece of gear. Four runs is a leaf and a half. Well, depending on how this goes, I might start saving leaves very heavily. Very heavily. Okay, well, I have Ainz, Albedo, Isle of Nazareth. Oh, it just collected all of them at once? Nice. What is all this? What is all this? Oh, 50 or 3 heroes? Wait, these rewards are sick. Dang. Can you get in here? Ooh, these rewards aren't bad. Gotta say. Oh, Molagor, give me these. We can get three. Give me three moles right now. That's big. Okay. 
Ooh, when you exchange this, when you ex when you exchange here. Oh, this is okay. Never mind. Some, well, you can get. Can you? Is this random? Do you, is it fifty fifty? Heinz artifact is twenty, and yeah, I'm getting thirty from Albedo's because I have a to limit break three, four. I have a to limit break three, and three like limit break three and four, you get twenty. So I'm getting thirty. Or yeah, I'm getting thirty percent for her. So I'll get fifty percent total. The max you can get is sixty. Not too bad. I mean, I need to figure out what I'm doing with the. Forge my gear event. I have no idea what I'm making. Can I rate it? Get some free stamina. It's 50 50. No, oh, that kind of sucks. But the extra stamina is really big right now. Alright, what are the other quests we have to do? These special missions are huge. It's used energy, so. Dude, you get a lot of rewards. You sold 53 heroes. Enhance one equipment, so enhance equipment to plus 15. And then complete day reputations. It's just ooh, you get some dark summons. It's the low rarity, but hey. Okay, well that's cool. That's a lot of free stuff. Get a you get like multiple. You get so much from this event. If you start a new account right now, if you start a new account right now, you could be balling so fast. I wonder how good we can make an account starting from right now. That's kind of exciting. I have nine free summons. Oh, it lets you do nine. Thank goodness. More molas? Yeah, I got three. I got three molas from it. Which I am very happy. All right, let me transmit the stuff. Yeah, I, I got three molas from the exchange, which I'm very excited for. All right, do all this. No more than that. Oh, and the loot exchange. Yeah, there's molas in there. Actually, what do you spend your currency on first? That only beat it one time. Okay. There's a berserk mechanic. That only beat it one time during that. So I'm getting 90 per run right now. Yeah, once I get Einz's thingies, I'll get 100. So it'll take, it'll be 120 stamina per piece of gear. This is a big stamina sink. Kind of brutal, actually. You can't watch ads anymore either, can you? I don't think you can. Sorry about stamina. Well, literally there's nothing to do because I root. How many leaves are in this? 40 for 50 bucks. Wait, what's this? 10 leaves. Do I want to buy this? Let's see. They're going to make so much money off in-game players buying leaf packs, though. It's 200 bucks, though, for... Alright, hold on. Let's see. How many pieces of gear would this be? So, it's 22 leaves. Actually, it's 28 leaves. Let's just say 28 leaves times five. Only 140 leaves. All right. So 140 leaves, but then you also get the 100 energy for seven days. But it's only for the first one. Yeah, one time. That's an extra 700 stamina. And then this is an extra. All right, it's an extra, let's just say 1,000 stamina. So times 80 plus 1,050 equals divided by 120. If you spent 200 bucks, you get 102 epic pieces of gear. Not the best value, but 102 you get. So if you spent 200 bucks, you get for every every two dollars you spent, every two dollars you spent, you would get one piece of gear. Basically, which isn't the worst actually, but the chance of any of that being good, not that high. Of that of that 102 pieces of gear. I bet 10 of them are solid, 20 of them are usable. I'd say I'd say you get like three bangers, three bangers, 20 total pieces, by the way to say it. So. Well, the only thing I can do is make a new account right now. Should we do that now or should we do that in the morning?
That is the question. I don't want to do it now. But it, I'd rather farm on my phone. I got all night. I'm down for now. Hmm. Are we going to do the new player guide or are we just going to make a new account as a challenge? I kind of need to do the new player guide. I'd almost need to play two accounts side by side. Yep. Let's see what this is looking like. You could do the challenge. I, I think I need to do, I think I need, I would need to make two new accounts back there side by side basically for this. New kind of challenge seems pretty good. New player guide can wait. Mm. The bad thing is I've been gone for a year. Guide me back. I mean, technically I could do this challenge and anyone playing now could follow along as to what I'm doing. And then I could make a solidified new player guide from there. I think that sounds pretty decent. Just not title it as a new player guide basically, but kind of. Let's do that. Let's do that and then I'll, I'll do like a, a true new player guide after. Are you just a new player guide guy now? I am. That's like my, that's my job. A lot of change now, player guide be useful. Yeah, I think, I think I'll start, I'll start it. What do I want to buy first though? Do I want to buy copies of Ainz from this? Here, let's, let's wait to start it until this runs over and I need to see where to spend my resources. And I'm gonna go set my phone on the charger and have it farm this. But I don't wanna run it on my PC at the same time so my PC's gonna be struggling. What's a good gear set for Ainz? There really, like, there technically isn't a good gear set. I just have him on a Fractor's build. Your build literally doesn't matter for this event. Your builds, like, honestly, Albedo, Albedo free HP set, Ainz, you can just put free HP set and you'll clear this event. If you're following my new player guide, have Destina. Literally just do Destina with those two and then one, you can put a tank if you want. You can put Arrowell as your other character instead of Landy. If you have Albedo Ainz, that's all you have to do for this event. Buy a copy of Ainz first and makes runs faster. Do I want runs to be faster or do I want to get more currency? I think I'd rather get more currency. I'd rather be more efficient with the stamina I spend. Right? New UI look makes you like a new player once again. Yeah, the game's changed a lot if you haven't played in a year. If you get copies, does it give you more currency? Yes, so if you get copies of the artifact. Artifact gives you more currency. The other thing doesn't give you more currency. Well, Albedo, you kind of want a little effectiveness on her. So honestly, just a free HP set, you're, you're golden. Let's title this the Overlord New Player Guide. How about that? Overlord New Player Guide and then we'll make the normal New Player Guide after. I like that. So that way anyone who starts because they see Overlord Club, they can just follow along with what I do. I can make like recap videos of the streams or whatever. But yeah, I think I kind of want to go for copies first. Like the runs being faster, I don't have that much. I don't have many resources for the runs, to be fair. Okay. Get a little reforge materials every run, too. Alright, let's see how we're going to spend our currency, and then I'm going to pull up a new account. So 
is it Orbis Treasury? Wait, it's a loot exchange. Is this where you get copies? Is this where you get the stupid copies? This loot exchange is so annoying. So the loot exchange is probably the better thing to do first. Yeah, you could probably put Ions on free attack set and it would work. Um, and then this gives you... Imp oh, this gives you... No, this is better first buy for sure. But that's only one copy in here. Where do you get the other copies? Are they locked behind the story? If so, that's really stupid. So it makes it to where if you farm the first week, you're inefficient. Enhance artifact. Can you get three? You can get three. Wait, sorry, you can get three. Are the other ones in the story? You can't even see them. The other ones have to be in the story. There has to be one here and one here, one per week. So the last week is the most efficient farm you can do. All right, well, I'm gonna do loot boxes, I guess. This is probably the best. Give me the artifact. Take Mola. Okay. All right, let me imprint lines. Honestly, putting Ions on a damage build would probably be way better right now, wouldn't it? It would make it, would it even make it faster though? I don't think it'd make it faster because you're basically most of your damage, almost all your damage from it is coming from um, killing the back mobs and killing the other thing. Okay, well, I wanted to imprint Ions and I failed miserably there. Let me do this and then I'm gonna pull the game up on my phone to farm. And we imprint. Why does it let you Supreme Slate him? Why would you ever Supreme Slate him? You just need speed, extra turn, and AoE from what I've heard, yeah. He's already plus 15, doesn't it? So, I mean, technically, I guess I could throw G Perg in here. Is, just Supreme, is, is Supreme Slate just SSS? No, I think Supreme Slate's just like an imprint for Albedo or Sheltier. So, put General Pergus. We want to, do, do you heal in this? Let me make sure General Pergus has gear on. He does not have gear on. That'll work. 24,000 HP should be fine. Iron seals every time he uses an ability from the imprint bonus. Yeah, so you don't even need. So, General Pergus. And then. So I probably, let's make sure this works. So if I'm just on damage here, he, because he, they only respawn the mobs, there's no point to kill the mobs faster than, uh, there's no point to kill the mobs faster than turn one, or four turns. And they all get death sentence too. And with them all getting death sentence, you're gonna take enough turns. So the whole idea is to speed up binds. The thing is Landy does literally no damage, it just helps kill the back mobs, but you don't even need her to help kill the back mobs. What was the fastest you can make a team for this? It's gotta be something.
but I've taken like no damage yet, have I? Ooh, that's a little bit of damage. But I, I mean, it doesn't matter if G Perk dies. Lots and A lots. Do you really need that though? It's not gonna, it's really not gonna speed anything up. And realistically, that doesn't speed anything up. All your damage is coming from killing the back mobs. And he only summons the back mobs every four turns. If you kill the mobs, the only faster way is getting Ein's us three for more thingies, but the thing is putting the lots on the team. Putting lots on the team isn't gonna do shit. That move is the only thing that does damage, yeah. This is such an easy event for new players though. It's kind of big. Yeah, see so that's all the damage right there and then you get your... And you get more damage the more imprints you have, right? Yeah, I did 55k there. So literally there's no speeding it up, hardly. Like I don't think that was much faster. You just need to get more imprints of vines. But, yeah. Okay, well that's easy. Okay, so let me... Oh, do we... I almost need to restart the stream. And do new player... Overlord new player guide. If I change the title of the stream, I don't think I can split it into two videos. I have to do a whole new stream for it. But yeah, I think I need to re redo the stream. So let me pull this open up or pull this up on my phone and start farming. I gotta go plug it in though, because it will die very quickly. All right, I exit out of this. What happens? Nothing. Okay. 2024 new guide account. Dude, the opening screen looks so sick. Even though even though the characters aren't crazy good for PvP, it's pretty cool. It's a cool event. plug my phone in and we'll be good to start. start the stream though. Mola investment? You don't, really don't need to mola invest. I think I need to restart the stream though. So let me do that. I will be back in just a second. <laughs> 